Warning, the Drunken Peasants podcast is full of comedic exaggerations, independent thought, insensitivity, and other offensive content. We strongly urge all viewers and listeners to keep their brains and their skulls throughout the entire duration of this podcast. Failure to do so will result in immediate death. If you wish to support this podcast, there are several ways to do so. First, you can sign up for a free audiobook trial at audibletrial.com forward slash drunken peasants. Audible is the foremost seller of audiobooks today with hundreds of thousands of titles to satisfy all manner of tastes. Second, if you shop on Amazon.com, please use the Amazon affiliate links in the description section of this video. Every purchase you make helps to support this podcast's existence. Third, please peruse our merchandise and see if any of it strikes your fancy. We sell a lot of t-shirts, so we must be doing something right. One more thing before I go. To make an official submission to the Drunken Peasants, whether it be a video for one of our segments, or fan art, or a picture of you wearing one of our shirts, or anything you think we might want to use on the show, that stuff needs to be sent to the Drunken Peasants Facebook inbox. Please do not send correspondence, as this will be deleted unread. With all that shit out of the way, it's time to begin the show. From the frigid armpit of America, this is the Drunken Peasants Podcast with Ben and TJ, bringing you opinions of the news from an altered perspective. Fuck it! Ah, hey man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. I don't have facts to back this up. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. What the fuck are you talking about, atheist? Yeah, it's okay. You're it's nothing, okay. KJ. You're garbage. It's okay. I just want to no, no, be no, no, light. No, 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 You're garbage. No, 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 no. <laughs> and now, here are your hosts, Ben and TJ. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. Fucking thing sucks. Hey, welcome to the Drunken Breakfast Podcast, episode 318. On the day of January the 11th, in the day of our Lord, Smoke 2017. Shh, Ben, quiet. Scotty's. He doesn't wake up, he won't make stupid comments. Okay. She's got to do a very whispery episode. So we won't hear any autistic, retarded yelling. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we don't want to hear autistic screaming. Okay, like, because... Uh, I'm just gonna very carefully take the headphones off okay. of his head. Mm. Lullaby and good night. This, uh, da, 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 da. This show over. Yeah, it's over. Why don't you go on back to the car and wait, and I'll uh, <clears throat> I'll be here. Oh man, you wanna have a drink with me, man? Yeah, sure. Oh, bro. Oh. Man, I fucking Gross. God, I can't stand Paul, guys. Yeah, Paul's shit. He was fucking, terrible during God, the night's show, fucking dude. Piece of, he, was he? Yeah, he was um, awful. I, I, you know, fuck, dude. I fucking hate Paul. I mean, that's yeah. a fucking lying you know, piece uh, of shit. Oh, Paul gets a lot of uh, shit for being fat, but actually there is one part of Paul that's very thin. What's that? His skin. Oh, shit. Wow. Whoa, dude. Paul! Oh, what's up, dude? Thin what's up, man? skin. Oh, dude. he's here still. Shit. Dude. Dude, dude, dude. what's up? Dude. What's up, Paul? What's up, yeah, dudes? what's up, Paul, dude? Hey, what's, what's up, up dude? people? Dude. Dude. What's up, chat? <laughs> fuck with me, chat. I'm gonna drink this and ru ruin the fucking show. You want that? <laughs> Do you want that? Better be singing my fucking praises. I'm gonna drink this whole fucking bottle. There's not very much left. <clears throat> I got more. I got more. <laughs> All right, rock on. You better get Your to choice. singing his fucking praises, chat. You heard him. Your fucking choice, buddies. <laughs> that chat better be filled with Scotty praise, dude. It's the only praise of me. All hail Scotty. All right, tell me what the comments are saying about me, TJ. What are they saying, man? Is it all praise? Scotty is great. Scotty is eternal. 
Long live Scotty. Scotty is autistic, but there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Okay. Well, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they're saying, "Do it, pussy. Do it. Do it. Drink it." Hail Scoopy. Fair enough. <laughs> That's what's <best> coming. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, they're telling me I should drink it. <laughs> Fuck these people. I'm going to drink it. Nah, never mind. I'm good. Yeah. You're good. Please don't. Wouldn't want anyone you're drunk you're, you're, on the You're better notes. than that, Scotty. You're better than that, Scotty. Yeah, I quit drinking You alcohol. don't need alcohol. You quit right now? Yeah, I'm quitting, man. Okay, how about I'm now? No, I'm, I'm back on it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn, dude. That was quick. He did quit, though. He, I quit. He did quit. That, biggest fucking rehab and relapse that was the quickest rehab and relapse that i've ever seen in my entire life it was literally I mean, hey, a second what can i say i aim to please that was awesome, that was awesome. oh yeah all right so um, uh probably the first thing we should do is shout out the meetup we have in 101 Alabama. going yeah 101 dalmatians and we still have weeks meetup. come on down we have january 31st that's a tuesday it's at 18 8 p.m it's 18 plus which is cool. 18 plus. And we get free reign of the whole fucking place. It's our place. Billiard Palace. And we I'm, can play pool you know, I kind of guessed on the times. I don't even know. Yeah, I know it starts at 8, but I, they never said we have to be out by 11, so like we could potentially It might go just, longer. We could potentially yeah, and just it, stay there. I and, don't it, know. and if eventually we're like, let's get the fuck out of here, maybe we can go out into the night together. Yeah. You know? Maybe. Who knows? It's what do you pretty think cold, of the chance? So probably not, but you know. Uh, well, I, I'll tell you what. I uh, I have a reputation of of not going. Back. <laughs> oh, and Paul, even though we haven't discussed this, uh, yeah, you're definitely going to be there. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. Um, fucking, what do you think the chances are one of our fans gets super wasted and pukes on a pool table? Are we taking bets? Uh, uh, how about we we don't even entertain that as a possibility? That, yeah. Well, I, I would love that to not what, happen, but what kind of uh, action are you? What if like, all? what if like the ceiling caves in and everyone dies and then people <laughs> sue the drunken peasants, guys? I mean, what if that happens? <laughs> well, what are the chances of that? A, puking on a table is a little short of that, but okay, I'll roll. <laughs> what with if it. someone brings a thermonuclear device yeah. and they blow up the entire city <laughs> and then of Albuquerque? The drunken peasants are and blamed. we go down as history as fucking international what terrorists who set the whole thing like, up. I hope that happens. So, Paul, man, what you know what? Happens, wouldn't that be what great? if that? That happens, uh, man. What, I what, am a you man. Mean, you, mean, you mean a drunken idiot might puke on a pool table? What's next, Paul? The whole world blows up? I mean, hey, come Paul. on, dude. Paul, yep. because I am a man of the people, I bet $20 is oh, not going to oh, happen. This coming from the guy who says come he on, wishes Paul. the world would blow up all, all right, the time. All right, Scotty, I'll give you that action. I'll give you that action. 20, 20 bucks. What if they puke but not on the pool table, though? Okay, but does that have to be on? T oh, so, so are you betting they're going to puke? Is it any part of the pool, uh, the pool table or is it on the pool table? I mean, so I like, just said puke on the, I mean, puke on okay, the pool so table, I, I guess, uh, down so the, the side, side of it, I think, would so count if somebody so yaks in one of the fucking, you know, bowls well, or whatever. It, it doesn't count if it hits, like, just, like, barely hits it on the side sure. or something. Fair enough. But, 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 yeah, but if, it, yeah, if, it's, if it's covering it where you can see it was puked on, then I agree that it was puked on. All right, yeah. rock on. <laughs> what if someone pukes in one of the pool pockets, dude? Pukes uh, in the pool pocket, dude. I love. It. What if well, it's part of the table? I guess. So. Pukes in the pool pocket. Pukes, pukes in the pool pocket. Pukes <laughs> in the pool <laughs> pocket. <laughs> pukes in the pool pocket. 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 Let's, let's see you do, it. do it as fast as you can. Pukes in the pool pocket. Pukes, pukes in the pool pocket. 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 What kind of show is this that I'm on? Pukes in the pool pocket. Fuck you, Paul. You don't like it? Fuck you, pestering Paul. You fucking sack of shit. Pathetic. Pathetic, pestering, pusillanimous Paul Parky. Well, if one of you guys wants to make me twenty bucks, all you have to do is puke in the pool pocket, dude. Please don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we go. Here's today's submission. Da -na 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 -na. Troll. Uh. Greetings, <laughs> humanoids. <laughs> this is Rudolf of Germany, the all right alien ambassador, addressing you. Okay. <laughs> Yesterday on Hello. June 1st, 2016, yeah. at 5.13 a.m., mm -hmm. during a, a deep sleep period, we took over the mind of Donald Trump for a <laughs> test run. 
Touch the pauses are killing me. The, pause, the pause at the beginning of this before he started talking was one of the funniest things ever. Just to set up. To... In the last few months, we have been experimenting with yeah. the best time. Oh, the yeah. Best mental circumstances. Right. Heart oh. rate, pulse. It's a low rent alien costume, dude. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, aliens. If this is, if, if this is the, the best you can do, situation. if this is the best you can do, aliens, I'm not fucking impressed. These must be like the signs, aliens. If if the best they can do is making Donald Trump wackier than he fucking already is. Like, why is that? Why is the? Why is this alien wearing gas station shades and the hat of the guy from Poltergeist? Blending like, in. I don't understand. Like. I'm pretty sure he's wearing uh, shades on top of actual glasses, too. Is that? Oh, yeah, he is. You're right. Either that or it's just a weird shadow. He's wearing those, like, solar shades for, like, old people. Because they're so alien-looking. ...to take over the mind of Donald Trump. Take over the mind! Which is, like any living creature, a unique... Ah. Uh. ...combination... ...of cells. Cool. And uh -huh. we decided... A unique combination <laughs> of sense. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that an advanced alien species would be able to talk a little faster than this. Well, they, they, they just learned it, English. Oh, okay. It's a say he's still learning. In gotcha. humans, in humans, weird uh, pauses that don't really fit the cadence of the conversation can mean you're making shit up off the top of your head. But in this alien's case, it's just he's being careful, so that he's being he very relays thoughtful. all the information. He wants to be make sure he says the right words, you know. Yes, this is not a troll, by the way. For the future, strange because the Trump has the, four, Trump has the best words. <clears throat> Five thirty a.m. All the best is words best suited for him. Right. Yeah, From there's no way you're controlling Trump, you're way too slow. From the date of June 1st, 2016 on, you will now see some dramatic changes, changes in the behavior of Donald Trump, which is our favorite candidate, and we are certain to be also the future president of the United States of America. Get down. He, he will down. become calmer, relaxed, and it only makes common sense. And he also will be more. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> ah, you shitty! All right, so um, troll. Not a troll. 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 I, for one, believe our alien overlord. I want to make that clear. Would. Oh shit, Paul! And the trolls have it. It's all Paul right. When, this guy, when this guy shows up in your bedrooms, you unbelievers, you will fucking you you'll be on your knees before him before long. He's joking. He's jo Paul's joking now, but I know he totally believed in uh, ghosts in New ghosts. Orleans. I didn't believe in ghosts. I just had no alternate yes, explanation. Paul. Yes, the toilet seat has moved! Oh no! There's Paul toilet paper Zito. on the ground! <laughs> oh no! Paul, I cannot believe you fell for that shit for t with TJ. TJ, did you guys do this? No, Paul, it wasn't us. Dude, I think, I, like, look, you know, like, I figured if he'd done it, he'd, he'd tell me the next day or the day. I what? didn't think he'd leave it for fucking God, six no, months. no. Do you realize who you're talking yeah. about? Uh, you, you Paul. guys know this. You know him longer and better than I do. I, I only True. met the guy in L.A. You guys have known him for oh, longer. Oh, yeah, that now he doesn't even know you. I, 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 I don't Paul know claims he doesn't know me. I don't know the man. You know what's f uh, funny, Paul, is there's been so many times in my life where TJ has told me shit, and it's just been months and months and months, or even years later, like, oh, you know this, this, that uh, event that happened that one time? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was all me. I did it. You know, what X, Y, and Z. Fuck and it's you, like, man. fuck you, TJ. You fucking, like, for years made me believe some fucking lie. I love well, the That's lie. why I don't believe anything TJ says the, at this point. The, the smoking thing. Scotty really thought TJ had stopped smoking. Yeah. Really? Fucking pile of fucking shit. Uh -huh. Ow. Ow. It's the only time I've ever heard of God TJ running. Shit. Stop. Okay, because you fucking lied about that shit, TJ. Just like you lie about every fucking goddamn thing else. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what's funny too? And I will, I, I will fucking freely admit I was totally stupid and naive because everyone else liked TJ smoking. And I was like, no, nah, you know, TJ, look, I've checked all his dash spots. He's not fucking smoking. And then one day I had to go down to his room to like get something. Like, yeah, go down and get this. I opened the fucking, uh, like his, like, um, what is it? Oh, it was in their bathroom. It was like, like in your, like, um, what do you call that? Your like, medicine cabinet? Yeah, the medicine cabinet. It was in his medicine cabinet. I opened up, pack of fucking American spirits. I'm like, oh, wow. What a miracle. American spirits just happened to be in your medicine cabinet, TJ. And then he like tried to grab him from me and I ripped him up in front of him. He's like, no! <laughs> Could they be put back together, maybe? It's I, like, no. I loved the story where like, TJ be like, I'm just going to stay in the car, Scotty. You go ahead and go inside the store. I'm just going to wait here for you. Even though it's like fucking 10 degrees yeah. outside. <laughs> and then Scott, as soon as Scotty like steps into the store, TJ fucking sprints to the nearest gas station to buy cigarettes and sprints back. It's the only, that's the only way you can get TJ to piece like, of fucking shit, to run. TJ. It's the only way TJ will run. Ow. He won't Fuck even, you, he won't even run to catch a, an airplane he's about to miss. That's true. But, but he'll run when it comes oh, to a drug oh he's no, addicted ben, to. Oh no, Ben, any night that TJ runs out of smokes, and this is TJ, so we, you, Paul, you know what it's like hanging out with TJ. He doesn't leave the fucking house at a certain time. Sure. If he, if he needs fucking smokes, Smokes. Oh, hey, Chelsea, I, I'm going to the store. I, I really need to get to the store right now. I, I need to get up the street right, real quick. I'm, I'm going to get up the street. And he knows exactly yeah. where they sell American spirits, too. He does, he's like, oh, we can't go to that shit gas station. They don't sell my brand. Yeah. So you know he's tried pretty much every store that's close to him. Like, do they have it? No. Do they have it? Yes. Okay, I go here. Yeah, there's two places pretty close to me. <laughs> yep, there you go. Exactly. He knows exactly where to get them. Where, where is it at? The fucking... Oh, just the, the two gas stations. Oh, the two gas the stations. Street. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, they both sell them. I don't know, dude. By the time he fessed up, I couldn't even really be mad about the ghost thing. I was just relieved to finally know. Dude, I knew that shit. Should have kept, <laughs> kept him going for a few more years. Dude, you, it was just, you know what it was? It was just you kept telling the fucking story. Like, you kept bringing it up. And like, I think she at some point was just feeling bad for you. It's like, God damn, Paul you really You got believed. him wrapped around your finger, TJ. Um, I don't think he, he Do wasn't really talking about it all the time. Like, no, go. Paul was. Uh, well, I am. Uh, I, I told T pretty much all TJ, you got Paul wrapped around it. your finger. Can't yeah. do anything wrong. I'm, I'm not saying Paul's obsessed Paul's with it, but he kept bringing it up like, man, guys, remember that time in New Orleans? It was, uh, it was bothering the shit out of me. I could not figure out, like, what natural event had taken pace, place that caused that. Uh, I took here's you the natural your event word, right TJ. here. Here's the natural event right here for you. Dude, and I would have lost it, dude. It, a lot of credit has to go to Chelsea on this one because she actually had to look Paul in the face and sell it because she helped me do it. She did, too. And, like, if she, I had been looking at Paul in the face, I would have fucking, I'd have started laughing and I'd have lost Paul, it. Paul when I heard them right telling happened. you that kind of shit, I don't know if it was there for the initial one, but I heard them, like, telling you again when you, like, guys, you know. And they, I, like, dude, I could tell they were fucking holding back because I just know, I know TJ. I, I like, I probably heard them go in the room, like, <laughs> You know, I, th I think the thing that kind of set this all in motion was, like, they saw how you were on acid and they realized, like, we're dealing with someone that could easily be freaked out by certain yeah. circumstances. I mean, yeah. I will admit that I was right. My mom's super, like, very, very superstitious, and so, like, I don't share a lot of those superstitions to this day. But I still like I'll avoid like walking under a ladder just because, like, my mom instilled such an aversion to it. Also, so I probably do it, so, yeah. have a little room for that kind of magical thinking when it comes to shit. Do you uh, throw salt over your shoulder, Paul? <clears throat> She does. I don't anymore. Really? I used to when I was little. She used to. <laughs> well, your mom is superstitious then. A pinch of salt. Yeah. <coughs> oh, Scotty. Quit coughing, buddy. What? You have no room to talk. I've never coughed in my life. Oh, here you go. Take a real big hit. <laughs> Dude, I heard Ben's fucking PJ pun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, no. I <laughs> do it justice. At, at fuck it, when TJ wakes up, when, like, when he wakes up, like, I'll, I know when TJ wakes up, because I pretty much hear it, like, almost every morning. <clears throat> it's, it's just like this. <laughs> I, you know, I remember, like... I remember, like, TJ was all sick in Rome when we were staying there. Yeah. 
and he was sitting on the toilet shitting <laughs> while like spitting into the bidet, but he didn't make it into the bidet. Oh. He spit all over the, there was like a, a oh. fucking lake of TJ saliva all over the bathroom. <laughs> and he's like, I thought I got it into that thing. It's like, no, clean it up, motherfucker. <laughs> And, oh, it, and all yeah. you can hear him all night is like, whoop, 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 whoop. and then like we'd leave. He'd be like, "Get me some medicine." It's like, dude, the pharmacy's right down the street. Goodbye. And then we come back, and he wouldn't get any medicine, but he'd still be smoking. Yeah. Yep. Of course. But then, like, well, well that's all the medicine I have. You oh, know? Well, fuck you! You could have got your own medicine. No, nah, I was too. Oh sick. yeah. No, 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 no you no, were no, not. No, you I was fucking too damn we, sick. No. We walked literally one block. I was up, bedridden. Walked I was into dying. a pharmacy and said, "These they are the symptoms." Just left me there. These are the symptoms. That's all I had to do when I got your medicine, TJ. Because you're a little baby. They can't fucking go talk to he someone. He was afraid. Yeah, dude. Oh my God. In Italy, you have to tell them what you want. Oh no. Yeah. That's what it was. Whatever, dude. Fear. You s what a pussy. Yeah, you, you, you know what's funny? Because he knew that, too. I was like, yeah, you had to go ask. He was like, yeah. And I was like, uh, okay. So you looked that up on your phone, or you went to a place and just were too afraid to ask and left. What? <laughs> I don't. I never left the house. Okay, so you must have just looked you it up. You were afraid to leave without us. Yeah. Admit it. <laughs> you were afraid to leave? Yeah, dude? he was. What? He was, he was, that's why, like, I remember when we were all at the top of the Eiffel Tower and we're like, let's just walk down. I remember the look on TJ's face when he realized we we're going to walk down the fucking Eiffel Tower. And then, like, T TJ realized that, like, he has to fucking walk because if he left without us, he wouldn't be able to find us again. <laughs> so that motherfucker had to walk all the way down from the top of the Eiffel Tower with us. <laughs> Well, not the very top, but like it the, was. It was pretty much the very top. Well, no, the very top. You take that special elevator. It's like we we went from like the first level. That was only the first yeah, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Like, but it's still a lot of fucking stairs. Yeah. though. It was like it took us like 15 minutes to walk down it. Yeah. And TJ's last ass was fucking uh, lagging behind, of course, the whole time. Fucking bastards. Oh, know. you could have just taken the elevator and found your take, way back take on your the own, elevator, TJ. TJ. TJ Dude. like followed me while I was like blacked out drunk, but I still got us back. I'm I'm I was navigating decently well that night. Yep. Dude, when when we go that to Europe, true. I'm not I'm not going anywhere by myself either, dude. I don't want a gang of like Romanian street toughs to roll me, dude. I, uh, I I'm, not, I'm going two or two or more, dude. We're not going to Romania. <laughs> I, don't, I know, but those Romanians are everywhere in Europe, dude. I've heard just gangs uh, of Romanian street what? toughs on every no. corner, dude. Yeah. No, you're you're, you're and rap and you are and rogues and thieves of the night. You Fuck are that a naive shit. man. Just Paul. watch out for fucking Muslims driving trucks. You're dude. you're a naive that, man. Yeah, you'll be good. TJ is so useless. We we saw no Romanians. Um, <laughs> we did see gypsies though. Yeah, but what do they do? Oh, they yeah. just beg for money. At least I got to go to the stupid fucking Vatican though. <laughs> I think you missed that. It was cool going to the Vatican. Fine, Fuck that. I've seen enough old. I never got robbed by them, so I think I'm all There's right. Gippos, Those gippos will fucking pick your pocket and. That is true. Steal. But we all had money belts. Yeah, and shit. it's true, but I mean, you can take easy precautions. I mean, like, stop being afraid, you motherfuckers. Stop being afraid. Paul, be happy and afraid, enjoy Paul? life. Are you afraid? I'm not, of Europe? I'm not afraid, but you know, I'm you're rolling too killed. deep. You're gonna be killed no, by you Muslim don't. cloths. There, there's dude. no, there's no games Paul, of Paul, Romanians. are you being, are you being serious? No. I mean, you, like, okay, I'm hoping not. Like, you know, I, like, you I know, couldn't you tell. I was like, I really you hope know, you're walking around and don't pull a TJ. You're walking around in you know Europe and shit, and then you hear Allahu Akbar, and the next thing no. you know, you're fucking dead. We never heard that. You're dead. I mean, it happens, obviously, but you're dead, Paul. You're fucking. You dead. got a better chance of the plane crashing on the way there, honestly. Yep. I mean, but anyway, moving on. Shut the fuck Here's up, Paul. Kill yourself. Thank you very much. It's great right for me to hear these conferences because we used to give them on a almost daily basis. I think we probably maybe won the nomination because of news conferences. And uh, it's good to be with you. We stopped giving them because we're getting quite a bit of inaccurate news. But I do have to say that, uh, and I must say that, I want to thank a lot of the news organizations here today because. They looked at that nonsense that was released by maybe the intelligence agencies. Who knows? But maybe the intelligence agencies would be a tremendous. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I already.
already can't stand to listen to him. <laughs> I, mean, I, I would just like to congratulate Trump on a fair victory. Uh, look, a lot of people have insulted and attacked Trump. You know, a lot of, a lot of lies have been said about Trump. Uh, TJ, have you not heard lies said about Donald Trump? Uh, you know, I don't know if they're, if they're lies or not. The lies. There was the uh, the whole golden Wrong. showers thing going around yesterday, which is a, I'm assuming what he's talking about here. Where so they he said like, that Russia had like video of Trump getting women, well, like, prostitutes to piss were, on him or for on him. him or <coughs> well, BuzzFeed uh, released a lot of unsubstantiated uh, shit. They just kind of did like a memo dump. And they got a lot of flack for that because they didn't really cooperate anything that was said. And and Paul, what was this shit about his hair being better? Because it's not dude, there, that, dude. It's, you, well, you remember that picture I sent you guys? His hair yeah. did look way different. So I mean, that's like, the one I saw. <laughs> I had searched on that like later that day and I looked everywhere. And that was like the only instance I could find. Like maybe it was just like the angle made it look more, like, more like a normal dude. I was maybe he's maybe by that. So. Maybe he was kind of experimenting or something. I don't know. Because a thing like that should have never been written. It should never have been had, and it should certainly never have been released. But I want to All thank lies. a lot of the news organizations for some of whom have not treated me very well over the years. Uh, a couple in particular. And they came out so strongly against that fake news and the fact that it was written about by <coughs> primarily one group and one television station. So I just want to uh, compliment many of the people in the room. I have great respect for the news and great respect for freedom of the press and all of that. But I will tell you, <laughs> I'll, you freedom of the press and all I'll tell that, you want you know. to sue them for saying bad things about look, you. Now we're going to look at those laws. We're going to take a look at those libel laws. Those fucking slander laws. Donald's going to open that up. But protect their freedom, too. Yeah, he loves freedom. Paul, you know, Paul, <laughs> yeah, you know, I pathetic, Paul, I want to see your fucking hair. You're insulting Donald Trump's wonderful, amazing flowing locks. Let's see your fucking hair, buddy, which you conveniently hide. Dude, I would never, I, d I never insulted his glowing, flowing no, locks, I, th I think dude. you did, Paul. I want to see, I want to see your locks. I also want to point out that Paul's oh, an Paul's obvious, Trump's. I want to point out that Paul's an obvious Evan LaFaver ripoff. Yeah, he is. He's like the discount dude. Evan LaFaver. Look at Evan, him. Look, Paul's choking. Evan Paul's a choke Evan artist. Look, Paul, where's your hair? Where's the hair, Paul? Where's yeah. the hair? Where's the hair, Paul? What, I mean, if you want to see my hair, you where's can the hair, see Paul? my hair. Let's hear it, though, Paul. Terrible. Oh, oh look, whoa. he insults Donald Trump. Look at Donald's beautiful fucking hair. His hair looks fresh okay, and clean. Paul, Paul's so... looks matted and pushed down by a hat. So admit it, Paul. You're, you're just stealing the ideas of Evan LaFaver, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. I mean, Thank you. Like, like, all, like all of us are. All of us are followers. All of us are beholden to but Evan. He's it. our friend forever. He's God. Yeah, I, I, I acknowledge it, Paul. I so, acknowledge it, so, too. So stop, no, so stop stealing his ideas and be more like his apostle Paul, Paul. I'm <clears> doing <throat> that. Why do you Spread think I'm word. acting the way I've been acting Wrong. lately? You happy think, you are those. Happy are those who stop fucking with Evan LaFaver. True, agree. right? It is spoken. It's been done. <laughs> all right, let's see this. With all that was just said, that we're so professional. So professional. So incredibly professional that I've just gone up a notch as the man, I think. Wow. Okay? Wow. Up one whole uh, notch, huh? Uh, we've had uh, some great yeah. reviews on the Not last, yet, not uh, yet. Come on, guys, not yet. I've been quite active, uh, I guess you could say, in an economic way for the country. Uh, a lot of... Car companies are going to be moving in. We have other companies. Big news is going to be announced over the next couple of weeks. Big news. Uh, Big, league. League. Big great news. Big league. Got so I want to thank news. Donald Trump for bringing those jobs back to this great country, Paul. Now, what, what issue do you have with that, Paul? More jobs for Americans. You have an issue with that as well, Paul? How yeah. did he do it when he's not president yet? Oh, he's that good. He's that He's damn that good. good, Ben. So the jobs are just rushing back just at, at the word that Paul Trump is Ben Paul has this. nothing to say about all these new jobs that Donald Trump has personally oh, created. He's, he's thinking of how else he can copy off Evan LaFaver going forward. He's not even listening to this. Dude, you got Paul's me, Paul's the kind dude. of guy who's already thinking about what he's going to say next when you're talking Actually, to I've got headphones on, and I've got the weed song playing slightly louder uh, than you guys through marijuana. most of these episodes. Weed, 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 weed. <laughs> Evan be praised. Evan, be praised. Praise be to Evan. In the Midwest, you saw yesterday Fiat Chrysler. <clears throat> big, big factory going to be built. It's big. It's a big factory. Big, 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 big,
I appreciate Donald that. Donald does it again. I appreciate it very much from Fiat Chrysler. Uh, I hope that General Motors will be following. I mean, I and, hope you guys uh, know this long drone droning self congratulatory speech is basically what our next eight years are going to be covering. I know, I know. I already can't stand listening to him. I'm <laughs> with Ben. Like at the beginning, I was kind of like, ah, whatever. It's Donald Trump. But uh, you said it early. You were like, I can't. I already can't stand this. I can't, dude. This is going to be awful. He's so. dumb as fuck, dude. Like, I'm sorry. He's... Oh, you got to hear the CNN part. Though. Oh God. You got to <laughs> hear. You got to hear what's a great eloquent speech thus far. Uh huh. Yeah. I think they will be. I think a lot of people will be following. I think a lot of industries uh, are going to be coming yep. back. We have to get our drug industry coming back. Our drug industry has been disastrous. They're leaving left yep. and right. They supply our drugs, but they don't make them here to a large extent. And the other thing we have to do is create new bidding procedures for the drug industry. I love industry. that fucking. I love his lips, dude. They're like, like we got to do it. We got to do it. So he's doing this like pursing up of his lips. What can I say? Like a fucking fish from Mario Brothers. Pharma. Pharma has a lot of lobbies. Yeah, you know what? For for all the young people out there, this was your first time voting. If you were a Trump supporter, you know, like. People were excited about Obama the same way they're excited about Trump because Obama got to talk the way he wanted to and he rallied a base similar to how Trump did. <clears throat> but like once they become president, they become just a tool of the entire establishment and then you're going to lose your passion for them. Yeah. I mean, that's what's happening here. This is not the same Trump we saw six months ago. Wrong. I'm uh, I'm hearing that uh, the 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 CNN shit is 53 minutes and I don't know if that's accurate or what, but we could check that out. If what guys, right now? I mean, yeah. If you well, guys don't want to like, well, we can skip. We can skip. Well, why don't we just uh, Why don't we just start skipping around a little bit? Because this is obviously we don't have to go 53 minutes. Like, I want to see when he's starting to like actually take yeah. reporters' questions and shit. Uh, let's, let's try let's here. With President Putin. Well, you know, President Putin and Russia put out a statement today that this uh, fake news was indeed fake news. They said it <coughs> totally never happened. Now, somebody would say, oh, of course he's going to say that. I respected the fact that he said that. And I, I'll be honest, I think if he did have something, they would have released it. They would have been glad to release it. I think, frankly, had they broken <coughs> into the Republican National Committee, uh, I think they would have released it. No. That why would if they had that? Why would they release it? Of course, they would try to use it to control someone, a U.S. president. Some yeah, of the chairman said, rather oh, than that, some of the chairman said Obama was shit. He was as a president, but maybe you're too young to fucking remember how in how much he inspired people the first time he ran for president. Oh yeah, he was Obama, a fucking rock star. Obama dude. was a fucking cult of personality. Like Are I we, mean, Trump Trump doesn't even come close <coughs> to the fucking Obama talking? fervor of 2008. Is he talking about the piss thing still? So is he claiming that if they had broken into the RNC, they would have found piss porn with him in it and would have released it? Is, <laughs> no, am I getting saying, this right? saying if they had found damning evidence, if they had they this used... piss oh, okay. porn that he was in, they would have released it rather than <laughs> using it to control and blackmail him, which that doesn't make sense. It makes no sense, yeah. Whatever. Just like they did about Hillary and all of the horrible things that her people, like Mr. Podesta, <laughs> said about her. I mean, what he said about her was horrible. If somebody said about me what Podesta said about Hillary, I was the boss, I would have fired him immediately <laughs> or that person. Yeah, you, you, you also said as president you would prosecute Hillary, but that's not going to happen. Like, you said that at a moment of desperation during a debate. Please vote for me, because if you vote for me and elect me, I'll prosecute this bitch that you all hate. Yeah. Oh no! It's not happening. Well, that's not, well, not at all desperate. Donald was totally confident. Donald did so well. Donald won. Desperation, not at all. Donald is the winner. Who won, Ben? Who won? <laughs> who won the election, Ben? He didn't win the. Who debate. lost the who, bet? Dude. Who won? Who won the election, Ben? Good question, TJ. Who won the election, Ben? Who lost I'll, the I'll, bet, Scotty? I'll, I'll answer that as soon as Ben answers my question. Who won the election, Ben? Absolutely, Trump won the election. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> uh, I won the bet. What? <laughs> I won. Oh, you're a shit I did a chicken piece of shit. Scotty. Did a terrific job, with TJ, and I won that bet. You bet. Anyone, anyone can go back and watch episode Wrong. 300. No, they can't watch the episode because look, or not, not episode 300. See, Which one was it? Whatever episode they saw, I won. Everyone knows I won. Let's move on. From it was the a subject. few before 300. It was like uh, 297 or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, anyone can go back and watch the election one. You can watch Scotty get on bended knee and hand TJ the no, money. Wrong. Beautiful. I never did that. A beautiful moment in DP no, history. Never happened. Yep. Never happened. A wonderful moment. Probably Jesuit clone or something. It wasn't me. Because what he said about her was horrible. But remember this. We talk about the hacking. And hacking's bad. And it's it shouldn't bad. be done. Really? 
But look at the things that were hacked. Look at what was learned from that hacking. Yeah. That Hillary Clinton got the questions to the debate and didn't report it? That's a horrible thing. Yeah. That's a horrible thing. That Can is you true. imagine that if Donald Trump got the questions to the debate, it would have been the biggest story he would have done in the better. history of stories. <laughs> and they would have he said, immediately, job. you have to get out of the race. Nobody even talked about it. <laughs> It's a very terrible thing. Yes, President, President elect, Trump. I ask you a question, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. President elect. Uh, on that intelligence report, uh, the, the second part of their conclusion was you know that what? Vladimir Actually, Putin Scotty, ordered. You're right. It wasn't that Trump lost those debates. It was that I was influenced by everyone else around me into thinking that Trump had actually wow. not done that's that. You know what, Ben, I respect yeah, that. You were, I mean, you, were, I, you were so influenced, weren't was, you? Yeah, yeah, everyone, like... That can happen to you people. You know, people think I'm <laughs> an intellectual heavyweight uh -huh. and that my opinions are so rock solid. Yeah. Yeah. But in reality, I'm a scared little boy that has to latch on to everyone else's opinion. <laughs> Yeah, you know, that's what you have I'm, to do. My, my, my opinions are so fragile that's what you gotta do that I have to depend on other people to influence them. And then later on, I have to pretend like I held the right position and blame it on them. Yep. <laughs> well, so that's sounds, good, Ben. Sounds good to me, yeah, Ben. That's good, Ben. Yeah. Not, not TJ. We're not talking about TJ. No, 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 no. Not ben, TJ. Not TJ. Ben was talking about would never, TJ would never do that. TJ never did that. Paul, let's yeah. go TJ personally. Never did it. He never said at the right. time that Trump lost the debate. And now <laughs> later on said that he actually won them. No. Yeah. Whatever. There's even a video of TJ saying, hey, guys, I don't give a fuck what you say. Come on, guys. Just be honest with yourselves. You Trump know, lost I'm, those I'm, not, I'm not fucking immune oh. from, uh, from joining the herd and getting, uh, getting that. You're also, not immune for, oh you're also not immune for saying it was our fault that you were wrong about I mean, it. I'm not saying that necessarily. Yes, you did. Oh. All I'm saying hey, is, you know, I was, we were I was at dinner. influenced hey, by the Hold people on. around me. Okay. Hold on. We were at dinner and the other night. And when I reconsider night. it, I see the truth. We were at dinner the other night, and you fucking said that it was our fault for pressing pressuring you yeah. into thinking Trump lost the debates. That's why you made a yeah. video. TJ, there's a difference. Uh -huh. Is that I said, when I reflected on it and looked at everything, I think that Trump at least won one of the debates. And then Ben's like, no, I don't agree. You know what, you guys? Yeah, you guys need to focus on the video at hand. No, right no, 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 Let's no, talk no, about this no. now. Let's talk about this, TJ. This is an important subject, you know. And I said, I said, I... This is the president-elect of the United States of America. I said, I think what he's saying matters a lot more than what I... We rewatched. Yeah. I rewatched the debates. I'm like, I think Trump won at least one of these debates, especially the one he said lock her up because he got a boost. And then you, but then you just said, no, I was pressured. And I actually, the time felt that way. I'm like, no, you didn't. Yeah. I said, I changed my mind. Oh, you said, oh. so there's a difference. I said that I changed my mind. You said you all, all along had thought that. Yeah. He, TJ made a video stating the exact opposite of what his position exactly. uh, supposedly actually was. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, do you <laughs> honestly expect us to buy that? Uh, you know, that is a, such a fucking loaded garbage. I don't give a shit. if you buy it or not. That's just the truth. <laughs> how, did I, how, did I, how did I miss this? You weren't there. You weren't there. We all went out to dinner. This was at a dinner. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're bringing up, they're bringing up bullshit public. from a dinner that we had. Yeah, but I want to like seriously, seriously, that's the truth, really. The reason you made right, a whole well, fucking All I'm video. saying is that emotionally at the time, I was re more resonating with Trump, okay? But I'm like, well, intellectually, Dude, I think that people so are going to say Clinton All won, semantical so. bullshit. So, so it's not because you were wrong. It's because we influenced you. Yeah, it was be, it's a little thing really? called peer pressure. I don't know if you're aware of it. We peer yeah, pressure you. We, we control everything Dude. you do. I'm not saying Dude. that. I'm just saying you guys are around I me. Obviously, you. you guys influence my I thinking I control sometimes. you, TJ. You're saying I control TJ. you. So yeah. your weak will. So, so in, under what circumstances can you be wrong about anything? Or is it just because you're always All right, going ben, to be... All right, Ben, I'll tell you what. One time, I thought I made a mistake, but it turns out I was right. So... <laughs> Oh, so you were mistaken that you had made a mistake. Yeah, I thought I, I thought oh, okay. I was an error, but actually I wasn't. So. Oh, okay. Well, wow. That was TJ. my one mistake. So, so, uh, so, just like I made him so, crash the car, Ben. Remember, so, he crashed the car because so, of me. So that was a because joke response Gertie. to my question. So is it, your response earlier about you know you making the video mm -hmm. and you not actually being wrong because it was our fault? Is that also a joke? Or are you being serious about that? Uh, I'm not even saying that. You're just exaggerating. Okay, my then explain. Okay, then explain what? your position, please. <clears throat> All I'm saying is I was. I I think I was a little too influenced at the time, and I wasn't seeing it uh, totally clearly. So you because... weren't actually wrong. Well, I mean, I obviously was wrong because I said something that I didn't think was true. Because, I mean, like, A, 
anytime we have an opinion about something what? right or wrong, we we gather that opinion sure. based on things that influence us. But it still means we were wrong. All right. you had, to, oh, TJ, well, that's bullshit. <laughs> no, I mean, I agree. All you had to say was, guys, I'm just I, saying I don't agree. A, I'm just saying I think on you a, won the debate. I'm just People saying said I, that look, at the time. I'll, what I'm really just saying is, I ignored my gut on those debates, and I just went with like what I thought was the right opinion. This is how TJ uh, can claim he sound, was actually right. This sounds like revisionist history. Right, well, whatever. Ever heard it? Who gives a shit? It does. I'm gonna go thumbs down that video. Yeah, thumbs down. Go that, thumbs yeah. down it. I don't give a shit. Still a view. Disingenuous TJ. Sad. Yep. Sad. Well, because I'll tell you what, TJ. Life is I easier if you don't have any friends, by the way. Just I buy fucking, your, I, I just buy live your in solitude. excuse, dude. I yeah, buy right. your excuse Whatever. on an emotional oh, level. Oh, oh, TJ, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you let me finish? Dude, what I was trying surprise. to make a fucking yeah, yeah, joke. It. He's going to fucking I was trying gonna to make a fucking joke. I was actually on you guys' side, but you're so quick to jump down my fucking shit. That was actually TJ doing that. That was TJ. Well, whoever it was, like all of you were talking to, like, what? Well, look, right. I was gonna say on an emotional level I buy your shit, but on an intellectual level, it's fucking total garbage. Yeah, that's that's horse go. shit, dude. No, it's not. <clears throat> you were it influenced is. by other people's opinions. Yeah, too so, much. So, so, so by proxy, like he was right. The garbage teacher. Because that's what his gut told him, but. <laughs> But like, I, dude. who the fuck? I mean, like, if anyone just said like, I did, I should have listened to my instincts in that situation. No one would be like, oh my god, so you're saying this big you paradox? Uh, you know what? You are the king of like making yourself believe you were you were right about things when you were wrong. Mm. Like, there's no fucking. No, way you guys just think I'm wrong about things, but I'm actually uh, always right. Okay, so I I don't think it's too far fetched to say now you're rewriting dude, what actually happened. You might as well be saying, Donald yourself. TJ. Well, you know what? I felt that maybe kind of my gut told me it's kind of like when you bet on black but you should have bet on red and you're like oh i knew i should have bet on red <laughs> should have hit that number yeah. I've had that. have you never had that happen oh whatever you you make yourself believe that you were actually T right even TJ, when you were wrong you cannot insult after donald. the fact mm -hmm. you cannot so insult donald trump uh, for fucking basically never admitting he's wrong because you're the exact same way when it comes to that you and donald trump are exactly the fucking same no actually this no actually that there's always some mitigating factor or issue that we we just didn't know about i'm sure see. i'm sure i've been wrong about something you're, okay name one time you were wrong something. about something substantial in your life go uh pff, i don't know when you Dude, crashed I'm... the car right uh i guess sure Why i not? guess fine yep so it wasn't Scotty's fault. Oh, oh, how about how about the how about the? I never said it was Scotty's fault. How about, how about, yes, you yes, did. Yes, you did. Uh, well, yeah, yeah okay, for a second I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so it was just for a second, so it doesn't matter. Well, that was in the heat of the moment. I did. It's not like I held to that position or some oh, shit. Oh my god! I what said about, it one time. What about the waffles or, or, or the out. pancakes? What what are the pancakes? That was, Scott, that was Scotty's fault. <laughs> Oh my God, TJ! You fucking are. S I love how you always. All right, let me ask you a question. If you're doing a job with two, with two people and you're cooking, and one person's in charge of reading the directions, and they read the wrong directions, I did not how read. Not their fault? No, I did not read the wrong directions. There was yes, no. You did. No, I did not. There was a separate. No, I fucking did there not. There was a separate fucking no, I did set of not. directions I followed on the, the right side. Directions. No, no, you I gave me the pancake bullshit. recipe. Bullshit. I Whatever, did. bitch. Bullshit, dude. You're fucking you're living insane. a delusional fucking fantasy, TJ. <laughs> Sibling rivalry, whatever. Help you in the election. Do you accept that part of the finding? And will you undo what President Obama did to punish the Russians for this? Well, or will you keep if, it in place? If Putin likes Donald Trump, I consider that an asset, not a liability. Because we have a horrible relationship with Russia. Russia can help us fight ISIS, which, by the way, is number one tricky. <coughs> I mean, if you look oh, this administration, number one created tricky. ISIS by leaving at the wrong time. The void was created, ISIS was formed. If Putin likes Donald Trump, guess what, folks? That's called an asset, not a liability. Now, I don't know that I'm going to get along with Vladimir Putin. I hope I do, but there's a good chance I won't. And if I don't, do you honestly believe that Hillary would be tougher on Putin than me? Does anybody in this room really believe that? Not me. I, I mean, I do, because she was saber-rattling against them, <laughs> nope. and she's a total cold-hearted bitch. Nope, Donald's going to be the toughest of I mean, anyone. You're talking about a bitch that literally it came to light that she was ordering drone strikes from her cell phone, just casually. Like, yeah, murder some people for me. Yeah, I think she could be tough against Putin. Nope. I mean, I'll, Dude, I, I, I don't like the bitch on any level, but I would give her that. <coughs> I don't think she's, like, uh, a, a fucking pacifist by any Dude, means. He just pulled the audience of fucking uh, media people. I've never heard a president do that explicitly. <coughs> like, does anybody in here believe? And, and people answered him. 
Like some of the ones were like, no, no, nah, yeah, yeah. No, Donald, we love you, like, Donald. What? He's eat they're eating out of his fucking hands already. <coughs> Give me a break. Okay. 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 President Obama steps. We keep on making clear whether during your visit to either Moscow or St. Petersburg you engaged in conduct that you now regret and that a reasonable no, observer, I I, would a reasonable observer say that you are potentially vulnerable to blackmail by yeah. Russia or by its intelligence agents. Let me just say what I did. Piss porn. When I leave our now country, we know I'm how his hair got that person, color. Would you say? <laughs> Pissy, I'm extremely pissy careful. red color. I'm surrounded by bodyguards. I always wondered why his hair I'm was piss colored. Now we know. And I always tell them, anywhere, but I always tell them, if I'm leaving this country, be very careful. Because in your hotel rooms, and no matter where you go, you're going to probably have cameras. I'm not referring just to Russia, what? but I would certainly put them in that category. There's such... And number one, I hope you're going to... You notice how symmetrical his hand motions are? Like, there's yeah. never, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's not never, but, like, this, ever since I've been paying attention since Paul started doing it, it's like all of his hand motions are just in lockstep. He has like, the yeah. best hand movements. Look, yeah, yeah, it's two hands. I'll tell you. It's a double reiterated. Be good anyway. But in those rooms, you have cameras in the strangest places. Cameras that are so small with modern technology, you can't see them and you won't know. You better be careful. Or you'll be watching yourself on nightly television. Nightly. I tell this to people <laughs> all the time. All the time. I was lies. in Russia yeah, years like, ago all the time. with the Miss Universe contest, which did very well. Moscow, the Moscow area. Did very, very well. The, look, now the hands and have calmed down. Like, they go through a period where they can't stop, and then they find the podium again, and they're grounded for a while. I love this fucking uh, the place we stopped on Donald. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yes, yeah. screenshot, please. He looks like a fucking Muppet Screenshot, there, please. Looks like a Muppet having a stroke. Dude, you know what? Yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll wait till uh, we're between stories. Go okay. ahead. I told many people. I, let's skip ahead a little and see what else is going on sure. in this uh, press. What, what was the timestamp for the CNN thing you said? I think, 50, 53. I think someone told us 53 minutes. I don't know if that's true. That's just the chat. Okay. They lie all the time. Uh, I can do 53. Let's all right, try, it. try it. Let's see if that's when it happens. Go ahead. Um, just now, that you believe that Russia indeed was responsible for the hacking of the DNC and John Podesta's emails, etc. Well, Russia, did, but you know what? Could have been others also. But, but why did you spend weeks undermining the U.S. intelligence community before simply getting the facts and then making a public statement? Well, I think it's pretty sad when intelligence reports get leaked out to the press. I think it's pretty sad. First of all, it's illegal. You know, these are these are classified and certified meetings and reports. I'll tell you what does happen. I have many meetings with intelligence. Yeah, it does not look like it's here. I don't know when exactly it is in this. Uh, we could probably find it on YouTube if you just want to find <coughs> that part. I don't know. Like, yeah. It'd just be called like uh, Trump, Trump CNN, CNN press, conference. press conference. Something like that. Something like, yeah. Or tr so I would say Trump uh, fake news or something because he called CNN fake news. That's it, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's the one for sure. Oh, wait, no, that's the whole thing again. Son of a bitch. That looks like it's just the clip. We could play that. Let us see. Take a little look. We've met with numerous candidates. They're outstanding in every case. Uh, they were largely recommended and highly recommended by Federalist Society. Jim DeMint was also very much involved in his group, which is fantastic, and he's a fantastic guy. Then Saturday, as you know, we're having a big church service, and lots of good things are happening. So <sighs> our first day, and you'll all be invited to the signings, but we'll be doing some pretty good signings on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, <laughs> and then also the next week, and you're all invited. But on the Supreme Court, I'll be making that decision, and it'll be a decision which I very strongly believe in. I think it's one of the reasons I got elected. I think the people of this country did not want to see what was happening with the Supreme Court. So I think it was a very, very big decision as to why I was elected. The tweet that you had this morning about are we living in Nazi Germany, what were you driving at there? What are you trying to tell the people? I think it was disgraceful, disgraceful 
that the intelligence agencies do, 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 do. allowed any information that turned out to be so false and fake out. Mm -hmm. I think it's a disgrace. And I say that, and I say that. And that's something that CNN Nazi Germany part, would have done and did do. You? I think it's a disgrace. Play the fucking CNN that part, information bitch. that was false and fake this and never funny. happened got released to the public. As far as BuzzFeed, which is a failing pile of garbage, <laughs> writing it, I think they're going to suffer the consequences. They already are. And as far it's as awesome CNN that Trump hates BuzzFeed going too. out of their way to build it up, and by the way, we just found out I was coming down. Michael Cohn, I was being, Michael Cohn is a very talented lawyer. He's a good lawyer in my firm. <coughs> who's just reported that it wasn't this Michael Cohn they were talking about. So all night long, it's Michael Cohn. I said, I want to see your passport. He brings his passport to my office. I say, hey, wait a minute. He didn't leave the country. He wasn't out of the country. They had Michael Cohn of the Trump Organization was in Prague. It turned out to be a different Michael Cohn. It's a disgrace what took place. It's a disgrace. And I think they ought to apologize to start with it's, Michael Cohn. It's a disgrace. Can you give us a question? What took place. No, oh, hold on, it's it. a disgrace what took place. This is what CNN <laughs> Mr. President elect, go ahead. Mr. President elect, ahead. since you are attacking no, our news not organization, not can you give us a chance? Your you're, you're you are attacking our news organization. Your organization. Can you give us a chance to ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can quiet. you state, Mr. President elect, can you state, Mr. President elect, can you give us a question? Mr. President elect, can you give us a question? You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? No, no, no did bitch. Think, did he Don't think this was going to work with Trump? Did he no. think he was going to out badger Trump? No, of course not. He just wants it on the record. Trump being like, be quiet, go away. Trump silences. Well, you know, Trump will silence the media. He silences CNN, anchor, or whoever, or, you know, correspondent, trying, just trying to ask him a simple question. The Democrats avoid Fox News all the time and uh it's never viewed as like this is a violation of the first amendment somehow it's yeah. like no they don't go on there because it's partisan against them no, that's I why mean, trump doesn't well, like cnn do. i mean partisan against them Obama. part of the part of the first amendment is not having to ask answer questions you don't want to answer so yeah, whatever <laughs> yeah trump doesn't even have trump's not obligated to have a press conference or to invite cnn to it so yeah maybe he won't in the future don't can, be. Can you no, give us a question? Can you? Can you? Can you stay categorically, you are fake news. sir? Can you stay categorically that nobody? Fake news, no, dude. Mr. President-elect, that's not Go appropriate. Ahead. President uh, Obama. Move right on. I hate, I hate to tell you, dude, but when you yell a question at him, yeah, it's not appropriate for you to yell the question if he says he's not going to answer it. I mean, you can write whatever you want about that. I mean, and that's fair. But at the same time, if he doesn't want to answer your question, it's like whatever. You he talk trash. You talk yeah. trash on my news organization, bitch. Let me respond. No, he doesn't have fake to. He's the president. News. You're fake news. I, he says. I love that <laughs> Hillary's campaign was the one that introduced the concept of like fake news, which you know, obviously there is fake news. But oh yeah, of course. Um, for Trump to just take that and run with it and just be like, bitch, you're fake news. It's funny because we love it. back in the day, fake news was Weekend Update on SNL. That was like the fake news. But now, fake news is taken seriously. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just... Like, even the... I, I think The Daily Show was kind of part of that for a while, too, because The Daily Show was fake news that, that a, a lot of people I knew that didn't watch the real news watched The Daily Show as, like, their fucking news. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, it, it, <laughs> it's probably, it was probably part of what's actually responsible for the, the whole phenomenon. Well, the first I think so. a, b a big part of it's just people who read headlines. <laughs> they just read headlines and go, like, Trump will do this. Trump says he'll, he'll, he'll you know, violate Geneva Convention and kill children. It's like, oh, my God, I hate Trump. You know, or, or you know, Hillary says this. Oh, I hate Hillary. And the story is just garbage, or it's unsubstantiated you know, yeah, rumors. Yeah, the, Some of it will just be outright false. The Internet's a big part of that, like, just reading headlines. Like, people used to get the newspaper, and the headline was to grab your eye to get you to read the article. Now it's like people just read the headlines. Yep. Like, yep, read the news. Yep. yep. I've seen all the headlines. I know what's going on. Yeah, you dive a little bit deeper. How long till BuzzFeed folds <laughs> after the most popular and powerful man in the world calls them a flaming pile of garbage? Uh, you know, I'm sure that that's like a that's going to be a badge of honor for their stupid asses. What are you talking about? They probably that's probably their front page right now. Like, yeah, we, they probably fucking painted by Trump. Put a stamp of like Trump says we suck, so we must be awesome. Also, isn't BuzzFeed's audience mainly just like teenage girls or something? I don't, I don't know, know their can demographics. You think, can you think of another time that a U.S. president has called an American company a, a flaming pile of garbage, like in a news conference? 
I remember Obama Welcome saying Donald Trump. that uh, Kanye West was like a doofus or something like that. No, I think he called him a jackass closest. or something. Jackass, yeah. He's a, he's a jackass. You know, oh, he's a, a, a jackass. jackass. You know, <coughs> Obama. Whatever. Uh, Kanye West is going to be our next president. So oh, okay. Yeah, true. you're right. Don't talk shit on Kanye. I hope not. Dude, that's like Oh, Kanye's unbearable. got my vote, dude. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. President Instantly. Kanye. He's going to change things for reals this time. Dude, you just want Kim's fat ass in the White House. So you can, <laughs> yeah, dude, that would that that be the best first lady? You got to admit. No way. Oh. Yeah. Nah. Dude, I like Melania the best better. Ass on the first lady. Easy. I like Melania better than uh, than Kim. Yeah, whatever. What, Kim's, Name a better Kim, dumper in all of the history Kim's of first face, ladies, dude. Kim's face is 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 fake as fuck. For I one agree, thing. but that ass. Yep. I don't give a fuck. Dough. I don't give a fuck. Dad ass dough. Her fucking her face looks like a, like a fucking muppet now. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I like her face. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. She just likes that big ass. Yeah. We all know the truth. You're blinded by the ass. Whatever. Blinded by, by the, the ass. ass. Who needs a face? Just stuff it in the pillow. It's brown bag at TJ. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the meetup again. I'm going to refresh and see if anyone new has... Oh, ah, oh, yeah, fuck two God. more fucking people, bitch. Damn, you guys are excited. Good good. Good. Those, are, those are going to be the best two people hey, you know in what? the entire yeah. meetup. Let, let us just tell you a little bit about what we have in store. So we're, we're going to have Mike, uh, at least one Mike. So we're going to be able to act like jackasses in front of a crowd of people. Which you can we bring stuff to sign. We'll sign it. Yep. We uh, may even have we some... We take pictures with fans. Got no problem doing that. Nope. We may have some merch of our own. We might be selling some kind of shirts or something. I'll tell you what, though. Bring a pen if you want shit signed. Yeah, because... yeah definitely. Bring, bring your own sharpie. pen. Bring a Sharpie or bring one of those Yeah, we uh, try to remember, but or something. It, it, it does happen. Oh, and also, if you're going to be near Scotty, wear clothing that you don't give a, yeah. a, a if shit you, if it gets like, I would up. just say, like, if you're coming to this, don't bring anything that you're not okay <laughs> with it being destroyed. You remember that dude? <laughs> At, at the uh, Toledo yeah. meetup, who was That's like, man, my grandmama this. bought me that shirt, man. And I was like, I don't know what to tell you, dude. <laughs> like, wrong choice to bring it to this place. <laughs> Scotty just, like, ran by and marked his fucking shirt up. <laughs> he was just like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. It's not my fault, dude. Whatever. Yep. He made that shirt better, in my opinion. No one now wants your autographs. Yeah, they do. Fucking People value. fucking get us to sign shit all the time, you fucking retard. Be quiet. What? Someone what in the talking? chat's like, no one wants your autographs. Uh, no. Oh, well, for okay, one thing, that's not true. at a meetup, I can't walk like 10 steps without either taking a photo with someone or signing something. Yeah, so yeah, you're full true. of shit. That's true for everybody. Like, I spend this entire meetup, I turn around to go to the bathroom, and on the way there, 15 people say, I'm not complaining, I'm just... That's what oh, it, no, that's no. What that that's why what we do it. I mean, like, if I didn't like it, I'd stop having meetups, you know? Yeah, like, obviously, it's cool. Yeah. And dude, I'll say it right now. Those two people that joined during the show tonight, I'm sure nobody would lie about this. So you two come to me, hand jobs in the bathroom, okay? Whoa. Oh, wow. Generous For number 102, hey, you 102 know what? and 103, <coughs> hand jobs in the bathroom, okay? You know what? Cool. And then and then the day after the meetup, man, we're like, we're going up to Santa Fe, you know? I'm, I'm not opposed. If people end up in Santa Fe too, I'll go to the bar with you guys. Yeah, dude. I mean, whatever. Come to Albuquerque. Potentially, we might hang out with you. And in Santa Fe. Beyond just the meetup. Yeah. Santa Fe, too. Yeah. Which is just a train right away. Yep. Yeah, we're going to take the train up to Santa Fe. It's going to oh, be fucking sweet. Oh, yeah. The movement of teachers are make it look like he's jerking off. What do you mean, look like? I am jerking I've off. I've stated before, TJ is chron as a chronic masturbator. He's doing it the entire show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me and Ben have just learned to live with it. Oh, All right. Oh, yeah. Here's another uh, interesting story. Uh, oh, shit. Where to go? Hold on. This is God's thing. Call him pastor, oh, minister, or roadman. For whatever reason, he chose awesome. me. Awesome. For Chris Rushing, the leader of the Aquava Native American Church and Warrior, cool. his title doesn't much matter, but the way they worship does. The sacraments we use are cannabis, the psilocybe mushroom, and the peyote cactus. Rushing ah, says this TJ, federally registered... You found your religion. There he is. Time to join, TJ. Finally, a religion that makes fucking sense, y'all. And he's like a big, fat, bearded guy, but he also has tattoos and stretched earlobes. Oh, yeah. Dude. Let's join this yep, religion. I'm joining. Let's all go It's their sacraments, dude. They just do a bunch of drugs to be uh, closer to their uh, creator of the universe. I'm already a member. <laughs> you look at... 
church membership card How long have you had this one? allows him and his 125 members to legally take these sacraments. Our medicines are anything that Mother Earth grows mm. from her. And the Bible backs that up in many places as well. Pastor Rushkin cool. believes everything God puts All on right. this earth is good. This is his what garden where he practices There's what lots he of things preaches. That are poison but the medicine isn't grown here. Elders or medicine people are the only way they can federally transport and bring these medicines into or anywhere. Pastor Rushing says he studies the New King James Bible, despite what those who cry sacrilege say about his church. We are a Christian church. Uh, we believe in the gospel of Christ, the gospel of truth and love that he spoke. Well, I'll tell you what, if... Jesus is all about if, drugs. Yeah, dude. if they would have been handing me doobies and mushrooms and peyote cactuses during communion, I may have stayed uh, yeah. a Christian. Uh, let, let's just be honest, guys. These, they don't give a fuck about Christianity. This is just like a way for them to do <laughs> drugs legally. Because then I probably, I probably would have had an actual religious experience at that point. Like, whoa. You yeah. Know? I dude, see God. As, there he is. Cool. As, as long as they give me some fucking peyote before they start spouting off the Christian shit, I'm cool with it, man. You can take me on whatever trip you want, homie. Just give me some peyote. In Warrior, Marley Martinez, oh, WBTM that, 13 News. I've already been in the cold, dude. I've already experienced uh, the Oh, no, the Paul. Depths. Uh, they have these things in Amsterdam called Smart Shops. And, uh, oh, yeah. Paul, experience the cold in Amsterdam. You gotta do it, Paul. I'm taking you out, Paul. We're gonna All right, go fair to, enough. We're going. We're go oh, dude, we're going to Banana Bar. This time, dude, yeah, TJ's, we're going. This time, TJ's going to fucking Banana Bar. He is. Nope. Yes. Nope. You can stay yeah. home, dude. I'm going. You you faggot ass. We're bitch. all going to Banana Bar, TJ. Yeah. We don't care if it's a tourist here's, trap ripoff. We're going. Here's TJ being Mr. Responsibility again. <laughs> because, because I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. TJ pretends like, oh, he's like, look, I'm going to post pictures of big asses getting spanked. But, you know, like, he's not going to go anywhere and spank a big ass. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't got the fucking sand to spank yeah. that big ass. Yep. All TJ's got is, <laughs> oh, he'd rather He'd rather look at drawings of it. Look at that drawing of that big yep. ass. Yep. TJ, TJ was single, and he went to Amsterdam. He said, TJ, if anyone should be hitting up the red light district, it should be you. Yes, thanks, guys. I just, I just want love. I just, I, I, I don't want to have sex, and this is about love. I don't think he said that. Yeah, that's, actually, that's what he said. He said uh -oh. he, there has to be a connection. But, uh, or or okay. sex doesn't matter. There has okay, to be a connection. Well, well, even if that's true, what's the we'll harm see. in going to Banana Bar? No one's having sex that's at true. Banana Bar. I don't like bars in general. Oh, oh you're whatever. such a pud, dude. dude. I don't dude, like being honestly, around a bunch of fucking people, dude. I'm scared. Honestly. Dude, and like for me, like I'm gonna fuck a chick. Yeah, I got a boner at a place with a bunch of people all around me. This is weird for me and uncomfortable. Why dude, don't I want this experience? In fairness, no one notice. Yeah, yeah no one gives a fuck. No one. <laughs> for me, dude, I, I have to have a, a connection with a chick too if I'm gonna fuck her. A connection of my dick to her pussy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Praise that's, fucking Paul. But that's not even what we were talking about. I mean, like, we were talking about going to a fucking bar where you drink and then yeah, a dude. woman serves you banana out of her vagina. Yeah. Like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> banana bar, dude. Yeah. It's happening, TJ. You're we're going, going. So, See how, going. See how critical and man. This is what I'm talking about, the peer pressure right here. See? Oh, oh, okay. We peer pressure okay. you. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. So, so okay, five minutes okay. later, you go and bitch. All right, all right. So you have no choice. So, in the so, matter. so you what you're saying, TJ? So what you're saying you're is, going. shut the fuck up for a second. Sure. So what you're saying is, we can't peer pressure you mm -hmm. into going to a bar at night in Amsterdam while we're on vacation, but mm -hmm. we can easily peer pressure you into making a video on the Amazing Atheist Channel where you're totally fucking wrong. Well, about I thought you guys. I thought you guys had some good arguments there. <laughs> Whatever, TJ. Don't yeah. so pull the shit, dude. Oh, dude. Here's a banana bar promo video. Sweet. Well, actually, I don't know if we yeah, can play that. I don't know this. if you want, <laughs> I was gonna say. you want to play that, dude. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw where it said. I, I'm, I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna show uh, you some images of banana bar because we can at least show that. So, like. TJ, here's here's the outside of Banana Bar. Yeah, Banana it's, Bar. It's it's a high class establishment. <laughs> dude, obviously. this looks great. How do you well, not walk into that building immediately as TJ Kirk, dude? It's got a yeah. giant banana on it. That's Come on, that's dude. because that's because TJ Kirk is actually Mr. Responsibility. He he pretends like he's this wacky character, but in reality, he's as prudish as as any of them. Yep. Whatever.
Look, look he's saying it like, yeah, like, like, like he's being sarcastic, but it's era the fucking TJ. truth. It's the fucking truth. Here's, Heavens no, I would not have intercourse with someone I wasn't engaged to. Here's, <laughs> yeah, so like, where is it? Here are the ladies of Banana Bar, TJ. Dude, yeah, they're looking good. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Paul, TJ doesn't speak to a, a lady unless he's been properly introduced to her. So, TJ dude. would not talk to some random... Dude, don't you want to introduce your hand to that fat ass, dude? It's Banana Bar, TJ. Banana Ugh. Bar. Oh, disgusting. Oh, I'd never go there. <laughs> yeah, gross. Not, not for what me. a bunch not of gross. skanks. Gross, dude. Ugh. I feel sick to my stomach, TJ. Ugh. I certainly want to, wouldn't want to have a few drinks and hang out with these <laughs> chicks for a little while, dude. Grody. Whatever, you Paul. don't want to see some bananas you flying even, out of pussies, dude. You don't even want to get the hell. Dude, you, you just know thought what? Paul had your back dude, on this, at, and he doesn't. Yeah, you know what? I thought Paul was going to be lame during your up, but damn, nah, now, I'm, now I'm looking forward to it. If Paul's going to fuck a banana bar... Oh, dude, yeah. Dude, when I'm on vacation and shit, I'm not going to... I mean, like, I might chill home like, one or two pa, nights. Pa, pa, don't you want to stay with me, and we can uh, get pizza and <laughs> hang out and talk about how cool we both are? <laughs> That sounds fine with me. I don't give yeah, a shit. Yeah, it's you're laughing because you know, you know it's true. Your you're laughing because you know it's true. That's the perfect imp impersonation. What is PJ. your What is your pa, problem with pa, fucking you, staying at home and pa, eating a pizza? Pa, you and me. We uh, when you're on vacation, there's, yeah, that's on the dumb. other side of the fucking ocean. Yeah. Uh, pa, we could like learn what a pizza is like over there. You know, everyone there's bound think, to be a little differences. Everyone would think we're the coolest same buddies on earth, man. Mm-hmm. Maybe we can periscope. Part this Wi-Fi. Let's periscope. Oh, periscope's so fun. <laughs> Paul is all dude. talk, says the chat. Oh, oh all shit. right, whatever, dude. We'll see. I'll, I'll periscope from the banana bar, you fucking salty bitches. <laughs> yeah. I'll do it. Say I won't. <sighs> Tell me I, I won't. You, I actually don't think you can. He can go, well, even if he can't, he, at least he's going, dude. dude he, he can go in front of him and be like, here's Banana Bar, and here's me yep. walking in. Here's, yep. here's me, Scotty, and Ben about to go into fucking Banana Bar with Ashley yep, and fucking Chelsea. Happen. TJ's at home. Whoa, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley and Chelsea both invited. Not TJ, though. He's not invited. Whatever. What? What do you mean, whatever? TJ will what stay mean, behind, crying himself to sleep. Just play a fucking video. <laughs> 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 I'm tired of arguing about uh, this nonsense. Was, please to hear you disavow and denounce Operation Rescue in response to my last question. This I want to ask uh, about can, a couple of uh, other groups and individuals. Hearings, I guess. In 2003, uh, at an event called Restoration Weekend, you gave a speech praising a man named David Horowitz as a man, quote, a man I admire. Uh, David Horowitz has said, among other things, that, quote, all the major Muslim organizations in America are connected to the Muslim Brotherhood and, quote, 80 percent of the mosques are filled with hate against Jews and Americans. He's also made a number of statements about African Americans, as in, quote, too many blacks are in prison because too many blacks commit crimes. You praised him well, as that, a man that I admire. I mean, oh. That it's statement so was omitted. Are they from just all innocent? I mean, what are you saying? Yeah, I mean, yeah, when you, when you make a statement like that, are you saying that people in jail are innocent? I mean, like, that's, I mean, look, you can say it's sure possible. That, I mean, sure, there are innocent people in oh, jail. Oh, well, yeah, know, but demonstrably so. There have been people on death row who have been innocent. There's innocent but, people who, who have been on death row, they get life in prison, and there's guilty people who have walked. Yeah, there's I people, mean, oh, yeah, but there's people that have, uh, you know, had, like, very unfair sentences. Like, you know, they had, like, you know, a gram of fucking crystal meth, and they got 20 years in prison. Yeah. Well, then there's also the three strikes policy in states but, like Texas. Like, is it really that outrageous to suggest that there's a high black prison population because there's a high black crime rate? I mean, like, is that really, like, a fucking controversial fucking statement to make? Because it hurts somebody's feelings <laughs> it, somewhere? It, it, well, it actually is, yes, because... You know, they, they, uh, what's commonly said is when you say that is that, oh, you're not talking about the mitigating factors, you're not talking about this, you're not... But well, sure, I mean, but the mitigating factors and shit, that's like a different fucking conversation entirely. I don't care about the why. Yeah, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Your response to the committee. Did you <coughs> omit it because you were embarrassed about <coughs> praising David Horowitz? <coughs> No, and I didn't know David Horowitz had made those uh, comments. 
Uh, I read. Um, wow, he just sounds like a fucking dumbass, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, it's, I, I guess you shouldn't judge people just because they have a southern accent, but it's like, well, well, I tell you, you know, what, I, read, I was not aware <laughs> you know, of those comments I at used, that time. I used to do, like, tech support over the phone, and when I would get a call and it would be from Alabama, oh. I'd be like, oh, I, I would be like, hold on, you know, don't stereotype this person, you know, just just try to help them out. And then, like, I'd get to, like... Can you take your battery out of your phone, please? <coughs> someone, yep. uh, oh, yep. sorry, someone in the chat just said, like, TJ, you defending Jeff Sessions is disgusting. He would put people like you in jail. Like, I don't even disagree with that, and I don't like Jeff Sessions, but if the motherfucker says something right or there's, there's something about a question that I feel is unfair, I'm not going to fuck it. I don't care if Jeff Sessions' main platform is, like, I'm going to initiate the hunt and kill TJ Kirk act. I'm still going to fucking Sweet. agree when he says something that's correct. Sweet. Is is there, like, a reward for the hunt and kill <coughs> T.J. Kirk Act? Uh, I'm sure. So, like, because, like, if the government is putting emphasis on that. A hundred billion dollars. Sweet. T uh, but you got to wait for Scotty, the law to pass. Scotty, <coughs> Scotty, I will join forces with you. Yeah. And we can split a hundred billion dollars. I know, uh, you know, I, I know you've wanted that fucking private island or compound. This your All chance. you got to do is kill me. It's worth okay. it. Kill T.J. His <laughs> brilliant <laughs> book. What's the name of it? I have a hard time remembering. But it was uh, his transformation, having uh -huh. grown up in a, um, as he described it, communist family. He was editor of Ramparts Magazine, the Radical Magazine. And uh, I believe Radical Son was the name of his book. Uh, and it was a really powerful and moving story of how he moved from uh, the unprincipled totalitarian uh, radical left uh, to uh, a more traditional American uh, person. I He's written a it. number of other books that um, I've read, I think, one of them. Uh, <coughs> but he's a most brilliant individual uh, and has a remarkable story. I'm not aware of everything he's ever said or Well, done. these statements have been reported publicly repeatedly over many years. You first came to know him in 2003. In fact, you received an award from the David Horowitz Freedom Center in yeah. 14. You were unaware of any of the apparently racist uh, comments that he made? Over I'm not aware of those comments, and I don't believe David Horowitz is a racist or a person that wouldn't treat anyone uh, improperly, at least uh, uh, to my knowledge. Well, let, and let me just... Give me, the award he gave me was... Um, the Annie something Johnson Award, and that was the lady Annie that went something over Niagara Johnson Falls award. in the a barrel. The coveted Annie That's something Johnson Award received. right there. All right, so whatever. So I don't, I don't even understand what the big deal is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jeff Sessions is an idiot. We already established that. Uh, I didn't think there was that much meat on that bone. Not all right, so much. here's an older video that we all saw earlier. I think some but of us... It's just so funny. Some of us have seen this, uh, I, I think, for the first time earlier. TJ, was, it, was that your first time? I believe I've seen <laughs> it before, but... Um, oh, we, this one's great. This is... I think that might have been the first time I watched the whole thing. This is from, like, seven years ago. This is a heated argument between Jesse Ventura <laughs> and Brian Kilmeade. Oh, this has got to be more than seven years no, ago. No, it's about seven years ago. It was, like, 2010. Okay. Uh, just a review uh, on the regular show. Show here's the question we had at the end. Uh, should, should, in the in the in the to be totally just, you believe that uh, Dick Cheney, George Bush, and the whole administration should be prosecuted for their out. acts. It's, uh, it's just Governor Jesse Ventura. Right. Right. But They're uh, talking about that. Like you, it's the if that is the case, so then we should prosecute. Oh yeah. Uh, well, I don't remember. <laughs> I think this may have been after the fact, but I, I could be wrong. Uh, we should have prosecuted Harry Truman, should have prosecuted uh, Abraham Lincoln, should have prosecuted uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Are you for that? They're dead. But <laughs> if you talk about justice... <laughs> they're dead. So if they were, I'm would you prosecute reality. them? You're giving me a hypothetical that's I'm giving bullshit. You a, I'm, giving you a, I'm giving you a hypothetical <laughs> because you're making up your Rosie O'Donnell like scandals. It. That says dude, that there's nothing I love more he's than like, a you dismissive just hand gesture, dude. Look at, look at his face. He's like, did you just fucking call me Rosie O'Donnell? Yeah, I like, know. You're he's right. He's looking at him. He's looking, no, he's looking at him like he's going to knock his fucking head off of his shoulders. He probably oh, should have been yeah. awesome. Dude, he this would be... that this little fucking piss ant, like, even has the balls. <laughs> Let's see. 9-11 was an inside job. 
Well, why are, why are you not allowed to ask anything about it? No, why you're when you approach the government to ask, I, I approach the government I read and everything questions. possible. I watched you all the hearings. Not. You're not right. I haven't read. You looked at my not. reading list. Have you read the 9-11 report? And you think it's a piece of fiction. <laughs> no, I believe everything in it. <clears throat> I believe. Uh, my government's <clears throat> never lied to me, have they? Let's see. Where should we start? The Gulf of Tonkin incident? Now that took us into war in Vietnam. They've now admitted it was a lie. So 58,000 of my generation were killed based upon a lie. What but that, that doesn't count, does it? I what does that have to do with 9 11? That shows that we will lie to go to war. We've been doing it for years. I'm, I we don't will continue that. to do it. It's nonsense. The Gulf of Tonkin incident, did you believe that? Well, you probably weren't <laughs> alive then. Um, I apologize for not being alive then. Well, uh, it won't happen again. Well, uh, so, yeah, I was I'll, alive. Okay. But 50, and I remember our president sitting on TV telling us right. our boys are floating in and the water. And because of that, you'll never believe false. anything. And because no, of that, you'll never believe But they anything. lie all the time. I, have you been in <laughs> government? No, I have. All right, so that's for. So I've never why been in the NFL, have, but why, I can watch a football why, game and judge what's okay, going on. Why do we have the CIA embedded in all state government when their mission statement says you that they're not? The question. You, you, just, if you just say one thing. You don't think the CIA has our best interest in mind. You don't think our intelligence branch. I never said any of that. But that, the, your questions and conclusions only lead to that one. This is kind of fun what? now because now Fox is the one like you know our intelligence agencies are kind of bullshit. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But at this time, kind well, of a well, different yeah, narrative about that. The narrative has to evolve, of course, <coughs> to fit the new situation. Did you think everyone's against America? Uh, no, the government's that's against not America? True. Always remember, dissension's the greatest form of patriotism. Tom Jefferson said that. Tom, you were alive then? No. Uh, <laughs> you're going to insult uh, me I got to go to radio. Yeah. All right, Jesse, friends. Take care. He's leaving. Jesse, I hate, I do, I do have to but say. Hurt, left bitch. like a butt. Yeah. Hurt, All got radio to wow. you. No, Rage dude, you were quit, scared dude. he was gonna fucking uh, fucking slap you upside your fucking ignorant little head. That dude just rage, rage quit, quit the conversation, <laughs> dude. Yep. Little puss bag. That I think Brian probably has read every word from the whole 9-11 situation. He's passionate about it, as you can see. Well, I am too. But, and, and I agree with you that there's been covert activity over time, no doubt, no shit. where the government has not told its people every single thing that's no gone shit. on. I don't think any They rarely do. But, but when it comes to 9-11, are you so sure? No. That, okay. No, but I ask questions, mm -hmm. and what perturbs me is that you don't get... Hey guys, don't you remember the same intelligence communities that then were, you know, revealed by WikiLeaks and Edward Snowden to be spying on us and they denied that and they lied then too? But wait, the government don't lie. The CIA don't lie. They don't lie. The NSA don't lie. They don't lie. Dude, you remember the fucking stories about trucks that were like, looked like normal semis, but they were mobile fucking chemical weapons factories and they were all over Iraq. Remember that shit? Oh yeah. Yeah. Hmm. The answers, just nobody wants to talk about it. This event that changed our entire history of our country, <laughs> why aren't we allowed to discuss it? Why aren't we allowed to ask questions? The moment you do, you get a reaction like he gave me. Mm -hmm. How dare you? How <coughs> dare you question your government? So what are your questions? My, my questions are simple. I worked in demolition. I'm a former frogman, underwater demolition mm -hmm. team. I know how to blow things up. How could the buildings fall at the rate of gravity? Basic physics tells you that that's, that can't happen. We gotta build. We gotta build us a new fucking tower, dude. And we new, gotta crash a plane into it. Yeah. Yep. How much money would it and cost? Check it out. Billions. You know, but those billions would be worth it to know the truth. We gotta build an exact replica of the towers on the and same, crash an exact replica we'll of the plane in the exact same location yeah. on the building with and the exact fucking, same conditions. Yes, it same gotta be speed, the same atmospheric conditions, same, same weather plane. patterns, everything. We we'll also need to take people hostage. Or, yeah, I mean, there's, even the, the even the human beings on the plane have to be there. You know, we yeah. gotta fucking get, we gotta kill a bunch of people, but it's can gonna be worth get, it to learn the real truth. Fill them with hamburger meat or no, something. It's no, really gotta no, be people. No, no. Yeah. You gotta make sure How every did the condition cement is the get same. so pulverized? You just earn your just spot on the plane. Just simply from Paul. falling, it was blown into dust. What yeah. energy was required to pulverize? All that cement so in the dust. Do you drop? I don't know, mm -hmm. but I certainly question, and yet I'm attacked <coughs> when I question. You notice how if you bring up 9/11 and they have any questions about it, immediately everyone attacks you over it, tells you you're crazy, calls you Rosie O'Donnell, insult <laughs> you. Why? Mm -hmm. Because I ask questions. I think I like how that's like the gravest insult. 
He was called me Rosie O'Donnell. He called me Rosie O'Donnell. The look O'Donnell, on his face bitch. looked like he was going to fucking murder him for calling him yeah. Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie fucking O'Donnell. Dude, there was a Just point in time where O'Donnell. you said that to Jesse Ventura in front of a camera and he would have bitch slapped your face, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. A lot of people, Jesse, figure, well, you know, that 9-11 report came out and it said it was those guys over there. It was those Al-Qaeda guys. So people just go, okay, they've formulated an opinion yeah. in reason manner, and that's what happened. Now, they can't know for sure that all of that happened, per se, but, you know, you do ask a lot of questions, and that's what your book is about. Don't start Good the revolution. Segue. This is such a lazy, this is such a, like, an awkward fucking interview, because it's obvious. Because Brian just, Kilmeade fucked They don't up. know where the fuck the, 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 you know, he is, so they're just like, uh, so, you know, uh, questions are good, because you ask questions in, in your book, in your book <laughs> which you have here. Yeah, this book this that you're voting, which you're questions plugging. has in it, and, uh, you know. <coughs> Without me? Is about, is and about I, asking and, questions. And I thought in our country th- that was good. And in, in this country, I thought before 9-11 it was good to ask questions. It challenge was authority. Challenge authority. But now apparently we've changed to where you're not allowed to challenge authority. You have to accept what the government tells you, keep your mouth shut, and stay in line. I mean... No one really, that's not like being enforced. I mean, there's obviously tons of people who fucking go around questioning the official fucking story about 9-11. No one's fucking hunting them down. I mean, look at all the fucking conspiracy nuts like Alex Jones. Yeah, I mean, mean, he's wildly successful on YouTube and other places. Yeah, so I don't know know what this narrative of like, you know, we can't talk about it is coming from. I mean, I don't know. Sure, there's gonna well, be news. There's gonna be news sources and stuff that don't want to touch you because they they don't want to just fucking go down conjecture road with with Jesse Ventura. Sure. I mean, they even gave you a show after this, didn't they? They gave you a fucking show about conspiracy, conspiracy theories. theories. Yeah, he, right. He, he lost that after the Chris Kyle lawsuit. Yeah. You know, a lot of the media won't touch him anymore either because of the Chris Kyle lawsuit, which is weird. Which is weird because uh, Chris Kyle had lied in his book, so whatever. Which is slander or liable, rather. Yeah, yeah. He and he and his estate lost the case. It was like it was so cold hearted. It's like he was alive at the time. It wasn't like Jesse Ventura had him fucking whack so he'd win. I mean, come on. Well, that's not the America that I served as the military. I served because, to me, defense of free speech, popular speech. The First Amendment doesn't need to be defended. It's unpopular I mean, speech I know, is why we have I'm, that I, amendment. I, 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 and it seems talking that about when like, you question... I think he's more talking about, like, um, just the fact that, like, I'm skeptical about certain aspects of the 9-11 story. And, like, it's just saying <laughs> that, some people just immediately go into, like, well, have you read the Popular Mechanics article and blah... Like, I don't necessarily believe that there were demolition charges in the buildings. I think that's kind of been disproven. But the, yeah. the, the, the official story doesn't sit right with me. Certain parts of it don't. And, like, you're immediately kind of labeled a kook. You get lumped in with Alex Jones immediately. But, but, I mean, there's a difference between asking yeah. questions about something and just creating your own fucking weird-ass narrative. Like, here's what really happened. Yeah, I mean, any event like this, not every question is more likely going to be answered. There's not going to be concrete evidence for every single thing. So, yeah, you're right. Naturally, there's going to be some questions, but at the same time, you can't just, like, expect uh, people not to want to ask questions. But, like you said, when you create a false narrative or you just put, start putting things like, we know this happened, we know this, like, well, how do you know certain, for a certainty that you're conspiracy theory happened or your theory happened controlled demolition thermite found at the scene y'all yeah, that's what i'm saying like thermite. when you have stuff like that it's like okay where, now where's your evidence that this happened and a lot of people on the other side have conjecture too but yeah it's totally fair to ask questions about this event. yeah dude not everybody that's skeptical about it is a loose changer you know no, what i mean like that no. fucking movie did so much harm to actually finding out what really went on the, on that day because it just unleashed the wild conspiracy beast in people and like yeah no i'm not about that but i do think some shady shit probably went down that day and you know i I think there's at the very least i think there's pretty good evidence that uh you know the u.s government might have known about the attack in advance and and just let it happen so they could you know do their their war shit uh, I mean, Bush got intelligence reports that said that this kind of attack was being planned and didn't really seem to act on them. Well, but well, that it, could have just been his incompetence. Well, remember how well. they manipulated the, uh, you talk about lies, uh, the, the war in Iraq. I mean, the lies that were told about this, faci- like a facility, where, like they're housing WMDs and gases in this facility. But then they like looked at the evidence and there was a wall where they said it, they were loading it in. Yeah. 
I mean, so, I mean we, they have, just, they we lied. have observable lies surrounding this incident, like on both ends. And uh, I, I, a lot of people just assume that there are no lies in the middle. And I'm, I don't know. I have no, tr- I have very little trust of of the government. And I have none. All right, it's time to move on. Here we go. Hot blonde babes. Unfunny <laughs> comedian. Dude, unfunny dude. Three oh seven. <laughs> the best episode we ever had. I agree. I like the part about weed. Oh, man, that's... My favorite part of 307 was the part about weed. Weed, dude. Weed, weed is good. Dude, the 420 dude weed cast with Paul D. All right, dude. Get, get ready to cringe. One, two, three. Hello. Uh, I'm uh, to uh, have a decently productive conversation. Cool. One cool. way, unfortunately, about I'm also marijuana here to model this and jacket. relationships. Calvin Klein. Both my wife and I have been in relationships in the past. Congratulations. Where we were against marijuana use, and they were pro marijuana <coughs> use. That's the shame. Where they would smoke pot, we would get upset by it. They probably need weed and just to deal with you. In many situations, we would break up with those individuals. <laughs> and a lot of you may think, you know, what's wrong with pot? Yeah. Pot's not a big deal. Wow, you pegged me. That's what a lot of people say, and in many yep. ways Oh, really? True. Is there video of him pegging you? Huh? Dude, a dude can't peg another dude. Yeah, you're what? right. Well, he could. He could fucking wear a big strap on up uh, over his cock, dude. Oh, I guess. I mean, but that would still be pegging, though. Isn't yeah. pegging like, like a TJ, chick fucking TJ, a dude? That just fell flat there. I don't know, dude. Come on, TJ. Just... Move on. Keep going. Well, he asked your me a fantasy. About it. Your fantasy creeped into the show again. From DJ. multiple perspectives, huh? could be accurately perceived hmm. as pretty harmless. This depends on the scenarios, the legalities, etc. But the scenarios, the legalities. To focus on et that is missing the point. Yeah. If someone says in a relationship that I don't want you. To ride a certain brand of bikes anymore. I'm missing the jump cuts, dude. I'm really yeah. missing those jump cuts. Yeah, it, well, that, that's the thing with Anisia. Is you either get really long pauses or you get a ton of jump cuts. Yeah, but what? listen to this analogy he's making. Okay. Bikes. Or, I don't want you to drink a certain kind of juice anymore. I think that's unreasonable. Because, from my perspective... Yep. It harms our relationship for some reason, or it does something other. How else can that's bikes and juice harm yeah, your relationship? Yeah, I mean, like if you come to me and feelings, that your relationship is harmed by a bike. I'd, I'd probably think <laughs> you're an unreasonable fuck and get out of that relationship. Yeah, I think pretty much anyone would, as any sane, rational person would. If you ride huffies, I cannot give you the luffies. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Someone should screenshot what we're looking at right now and caption that. If you ride Huffies, I cannot give you the loveys. No Huffies, no Luffies. Whatever. If someone says this, yeah. you're probably not going to care. You especially if your relationship is I don't want life. nothing to do with your caboose. If I'm supposed to give up a certain brand of something because it's too expensive for us to afford or because it hurts my significant other's feelings, it just makes them uncomfortable, I don't care. It's fine. There are other ways to enjoy bikes uh, other brands you're, you're, this is the best analogy other i've ever heard dude, dude. um this is the if, best if analogy. someone just comes to you with some random demand even if it's your significant other and you just go yeah okay yeah it's totally rational yeah yeah you're right i won't i'll, I'll get rid of my bike i won't drink apple juice anymore you're a weak-willed fucking spineless coward well we already know you are on acn so scotty i can't that, uh, i can't associate with you if you continue to wear those shoes scotty good uh what brand is that Reebok. I, I actually am against Reeboks. Yeah. Uh, well, go fuck yourself. No. Actually, a lot of people Those criticize. Shoes me. I feel like they, they get in the way of our actually Actually, TJ, a lot of people were offended by your shoes uh, in that video where you're like uh, humping the air that yeah. I took. They said, though, your shoes suck. Really? Yeah. Damn. Damn, dude. I don't, I don't know. I didn't know people cared so much. What? You were just talking about Scotty's shoes. Yeah, but his shoes are especially... They're Reeboks, nah, dude. They're I don't especially know. offensive shoes. Yours are, like, are you wearing Reeboks, too? Yours are like old old. Are you just some loafers. fucking Reebok no, retard? No, no, I have a Adidas on. Okay, Adidas is fine, but Reeboks are for retards. Re- 
Reebok retard. Hmm. It like, all adds his, up. His analogy fell apart like at the end <clears throat> anyway. His analogy he fell said, apart at the beginning. Like, well, dude. He, says, he says, like, yeah, you, if, all it is is just that brand of bike. There's other brands of bikes. There's other juices. There's no other <laughs> marijuana. Like, it doesn't, you know, like, you either smoke weed or you don't. And if you ask somebody not to unreasonably, they can't just replace it with something just yeah, like I weed. Mean, it's up to you. You have your own dating preference, and they can be as unreasonable as you want, but don't, like, you know, flip the script later on. Yeah, why not just be like, I don't want to smoke weed, and please don't smoke weed around me. Yeah. That's pretty much like, okay, that's normal and makes sense. Like, you don't want, to, you don't want to be, it to be a part of your life or, you know, to smell it or be involved with it. Okay. ...is to enjoy. But with pot, it seems like people are unwilling to compromise. And a lot of people are willing to lie about it. Sounds like you're willing to compromise. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what's the compromise? Stop <laughs> smoking weed or I'll dump you? Yeah, that's I mean, a compromise. But this, is just, this is his fucking M.O. It's like he wants, like, this is why he argues with his girlfriends on, on publicly on Twitter. This is why, you know, he's, he's getting in all these fucking uh, well, trouble all the time. It's, be, it's because he fucking, he just tries to control people. He, you know, that's why he sits there and critiques appearances and shit. Because it's like, no, you're supposed to look how I think you should look. You're supposed to act how I think you should act. He basically wants to be this authoritarian dictator that just rules the life of anyone that's around him. In a relationship I was in before, one of the first meaningful relationships in my life, I asked this girl not to smoke pot because it made her different than how I preferred. Uh, I liked her personality prefer, exactly the way it was. Who gives a shit what you prefer, yeah, bitch? Well, yeah, that's, not your, that's not your call. Whatever. I just yeah. wanted her to be in her natural state. I would have felt this. Her natural See, this state? Is, well, she naturally wants fuck. to be high. Oh, go uh, ahead, dude, Paul. He, he can't help but fucking reveal his motives and his attempt to fucking explain himself. Like, <laughs> she wasn't like I prefer. <laughs> Don't date somebody. Like... If I come across somebody and I go, man, you're not like I prefer, I don't ask them to date and then try and change them out. <clears throat> what is it? I mean, like, it, it's so weird. Like, I've never been in a relationship with a person where I like them when they're sober, but then when they smoke weed, it's like, oh, shit. It's like a totally different person that I can't even Who are you? to on any level. Like, the, prof the, the personality changes are not that profound just because you smoke some weed. <laughs> Yeah, I would say more than anything, it's a mood change than a personality change. Yeah, you might yeah. feel, like, more mellow. You might feel more elated. Like, yeah, I'm happy, you if know. If it totally changes your personality, then you probably shouldn't be smoking weed. I mean, you probably have some underlying illnesses that need to be treated. Well, it's probably because she might have become, like, introspective, and he might have liked that. Like, oh, not focus on me enough. I mean, Dang this guy is so vain. About head meds, bipolar medication, or whatever you want to call it, especially when she didn't have any disorder, but was diagnosed with one. At least from my perspective. She didn't Did I, I, from your I perspective fucking... as what? A fucking weirdo and rouge <laughs> on YouTube? Like, why Mascara. would she listen to you? <laughs> have a disorder. Of course. Because his eyebrows. Uneducated perspective. Yeah. Duh, but no shit. I still feel so. a life without drugs. A life where you're trying to deal with your issues head on without any chemical influence. If it's possible, the you only do influence it. they should have because is otherwise mine. you're just doing drugs the rest of your life. Is that what you're doing, Onision? Anyway. Dealing with your fucking issues head on? Is that what you're doing on your channel? Having weird meltdowns cyclically every fucking year, dumping people publicly, fucking chicks, and then talking about how stinky their pussies were. Yeah. Onision, maybe you need the drugs. Maybe like, yeah. maybe you need some pills to mellow you out a little bit, dude, because uh, you're pretty fucked up as, as it stands without doing them. Well, according to you, you don't do them. So, I mean, who knows the truth? So we'd break up with these individuals. Not so much because they did pot, but because they would lie to us about it and because they would show that they clearly prioritize pot more than us. Oh my gosh, you're so butthurt. Now, if someone tells me not to ride that certain brand of bike, or they tell me not to drink that certain juice, and they say that they'll break up with me, if I do, I don't I have to hills. understand why. I don't have to understand why. And they could explain why. themselves, which would be great. <clears throat> but if they just say it really hurts my feelings, or makes me uncomfortable, or whatever, fine. I no. love you. I'm going to stop right now. No! 
No. Because someone, in a healthy relationship, no one's like, I'm going to withdraw love from you if you don't stop doing this arbitrary behavior that Dude. I am, am pro- offended by. Who Dude. says that to a person? TJ, you and I are both in relationships that, you know, g- became serious you know, about a year ago, a little over a year in your case. You remember that that beautiful honeymoon period at the beginning where you go through each other's lives and tell each other what displeases <laughs> uh, you about the other person and demand they change it or dump them? You remember that yeah. wonderful flowering part of the relationship? <laughs> Such a, a beautiful time in a relationship, dude. Such a beautiful Fuck. time. Oh, Fuck yeah. For st- Paul, I was just saying, Paul, Paul, I totally remember that with you, dude. You're like, uh, you, you said, oh, I, I had to have that conversation with Ashley. That I said, no more anime, no more anything. Yep. You like, I don't look, I don't enjoy it. We're gonna be, it's, it's the Paul show now. It's all Paul all the time. And she was like, yep, if I want to be with you, Paul, it's just gonna be whatever you want. You know, I, I remember that. Bike brand. I'm gonna stop drinking that certain kind of juice because it's not so important to me that I'm gonna destroy a relationship. And You're yet, the one destroying you it, dumbass. What a twisted, right, what, what twisted yeah, logic. Yeah. You're destroying say, it, but not doing what I want. <clears throat> Let's say <clears throat> his wife walks up to him tomorrow and says, Hey, Greg, um, I'm tired of you putting our fucking personal life on the internet. I'm tired of you doing the fucking internet thing. Can you just get a normal job, Greg? Because it makes me really uncomfortable. You're going to go, yes, honey. Immediate. No, fuck you. you. You take to the internet immediately and talk about how unreasonable your wife is in front of your millions of fans. Fuck this guy, dude. Fuck him in the ass, fuck him in the mouth, fuck him in the west, and fuck him in the south. Risking destroying a relationship by saying you're going to break up with me if I use these <clears throat> things. Yeah. But at the same time, you may have very good reasons. Uh-huh. And it's not even that important to me. So I'm not going to throw down over it. I'm not going to make a big issue over it. It's not like you're asking me to stop Oh, you driving. make a big issue over something? That's unheard of. Not you. Not you, Onision. You would never do that. This video is you making a big issue out of nothing. You're basically making a video about how, like, you were so upset that someone smoked weed that you dumped them. Which, as far as I'm concerned, good for them, because... Yeah. I mean, anyone who's fucking willingly trying to spend time around you has fucking problems, in my opinion. Cars. To get to work. That I have to walk from now on it's not like you're significantly impeding my normal daily functions but people would repeatedly prioritize both my wife and i after they prioritize pot they would go get high and then they would act like it never happened Mm -hmm. and maybe some cases people tell the truth eventually but the point is that they initially prioritized a substance over human beings. And- <clears throat> oh my god. What this a fucking is, what a fuck- this is addiction, man. What a fucking psycho, dude. They prioritized something over me. <sighs> they did something that I said I wasn't happy about them doing, and this is disgusting. That's so fucking horrible, you guys. Isn't that horrible? Yeah, I'm so shocked. Isn't that horrible like- when someone's not totally obedient to me? Dude, sit down, Meryl Streep. This guy should have been given a weird speech in front of the Golden Globes <coughs> audience. Uh. And this isn't a relationship that I would consider to be productive, that yeah. I would consider to be beneficial for either person. Right. Not in the realm of honesty or in the realm of... Okay, well, uh, I think we can move on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let us... Let's Please. go on to the next one. Super barfing potheads. Cool. cool. Yeah. This is the best Wild Bill for America title. <laughs> I know. Super I know. barfing so potheads. <laughs> <laughs> this is. I've I've seen a bunch of your videos. I've never been overly fond of your titling abilities, but in this case, I think you. Yeah, got like a, dude, this is a band name, man. Yeah. <laughs> we are the super barfing potheads. And this is our hit song, Wild Bill for America. Thank you, Poughkeepsie. Hello, everybody. Wild Bill for America here. And once again, the evidence proves that liberals have a... Wild Bill for America is looking more and more like a fucking faggot. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> I know, dude. The pink shirt. <laughs> and the fucking gay-ass glasses and yeah. shit. The terrible fucking vest. A wild Bill that for daddy vests and shit. That yeah. kissy, dude, pouty, thick face. Wild making. Bill, you need some fucking contacts or something, dude. Or better glasses. Those glasses make you look like a fucking... You're a squinting joke right now. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. 
Dude, Wild Bill would fuck? fit right in. He, are we, he already has a name that would just fit right in with a leather daddy circle, dude. Hey, this, this is my friend Wild Bill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, when Wild Bill gets a fucking you in the ass, it's like a fucking tsunami <laughs> up in that asshole. <laughs> you ain't going shit right for the rest of your life. You're going to be in diapers after Wild Bill done with that ass. Predisposition to kill themselves in the stupidest ways possible. Medical doctors all across the country are raising the alarm about the devastating effects of pot smoking. Oh, Emergency really? rooms are reporting hey. record numbers of CHS, cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome. Hyperemesis or hyperemesis is a uh -huh. medical term that basically means <laughs> super barfing. States that have legalized. Cool. Hey, I know what that's like. Super barfing. Yeah, you get that from uh, alcohol, though. Well, it's a combination. <laughs> It's that perfect storm of weed and alcohol. It, it happened to me in that restaurant in Amsterdam, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, what he's talking about is something that, uh, that uh, heavy uh, cannabinoid users experience. Like, it, it is pretty rare, but uh, obviously they're seeing it uh, you know, now more than more people are using pot, and it's legal in more states where you'll have heavy users. They'll have, like, stomach problems. And you know, they take, like, uh, hot baths or showers, it kind of goes away. And the only way for them to actually uh, fix it is they have to stop smoking weed or ingesting weed or whatever. I'll take it. the barfing, thank you. Drunks have been no, dealing I, with I it for a while. I don't think you would. I mean, maybe, maybe, you know, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Marijuana are seeing the results of their liberal wisdom. Well, it's not everyone that experiences this. Yeah, I mean, like, like yeah. I've, I've super barfed from Jack Daniels, too. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> That's, That's what okay, I was gonna though. say, dude. He acts like barfing is the worst thing that can happen. Like he's got no problem with fucking people getting all liquored up and puking in the street with <laughs> a pothead pukes, and he's like, "Oh, look, there it is." The I don't understand. He must I don't, have no I don't problem understand with this drunk idea. Driving. Like, okay, hey, we found a negative side effect of marijuana. Uh, so obviously this is what happens when with liberal wisdom there's downsides. Like, yeah, okay, but the, the, it's not about are there any Ugh. downsides. Dude. It's about do the goods outweigh the bads. A lot I would of, argue they do. A lot of conservative places have people love to drink, and they drink and drive and kill thousands of people each year. You don't see them saying, well, it's really time to ban alcohol. Like, we already tried to ban alcohol. It didn't work. I think we'll, I think it's no mystery to anyone that marijuana is a much safer drug. By far. Than alcohol. Did Wild Bill, like, retire to Florida or something? What is he, going on? He lives in... It's either Florida or California. I, I think it's Florida. He seems more like a Florida guy yeah, to me. he seems like a Florida. Me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, who knows? Southern California is pretty conservative. Uh, but, yeah. The gun Parts laws, though? The gun laws in California sucks. There's no way someone like Wild Bill is would Is he wearing, there. like, a biker vest? No, he's wearing, he's wearing a leather daddy vest, dude. Oh. It looks like a biker vest. No. He, he's, he has a twink sucking his cock right now. I see. Vomiting themselves half to death. This is on top of the damage that the rough, coarse smoke does to lung tissue. Yeah. One puff of a joint will show you that pot smoke tears up your lungs you don't have to much smoke more it, than though. cigarette smoke. Many homosexuals have already they damaged their immune system Florida. with Whoa. their lifestyle. Worse than fucking cigarettes? Are you, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Uh... Far more people have died from, uh, you know, smoking cigarettes uh, every year. I think it was like 430,000 people have died in the U.S. alone. Yeah, but now that we've legalized pot, marijuana deaths are going to be through the fucking roof, dude. Uh, the studies I've read about through weed, the roof. And, there, and obviously there's not a ton. It's really suggested that it wasn't causing much. I mean, like it could, I'm sure, cause cancer, but it's not, it's not going to be anywhere near the same rates that tobacco are causing uh, cancer. You're just a liar, Scotty. By the, so by the way, Florida, I looked it up. Cool. Yeah, I can't imagine living in California. Marching them to an early grave and adding cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome could end up with a lot of young people dying of easily preventable they maladies. Maybe it's time uh, to do a I don't think it's fatal. Yeah, it's probably not yeah, fatal. I'm not, I mean, I'm not, it? I've read about it. I've never read any, any one. None of the fucking articles I've read have mentioned, like, by the way, could be fatal. Yeah, the people that experience these symptoms eventually just stop smoking weed and it went away. Or so. they learn to not smoke as much weed and get themselves to the point where they're puking. Like, you take in, uh, enough of any intoxicant and you're going to fucking puke. I mean, like, I, I, I saw a story once about people who died of fucking water poisoning. I peed. Yeah. Uh, they literally were, they were trying to, it was like, see how much you can drink without peeing, and they fucking... Yeah. Yep, that has happened. And usually they throw up, they don't even pee. Dude, like, it was, uh, yeah. hold your wee for a wee. 
Yeah. There was some radio contest, and I think like they like, died <laughs> of like water. Well, that uh, that happened as well. But what I'm talking about, it was actually like a uh, it was actually a uh, hazing ritual for a fucking uh, oh fraternity or whatever. So multiple uh, multiple people have died from drinking too much water. Yeah, <laughs> you can you can die you can OD on water. So I mean, crazy. Like, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can I've, drown, too. Too much of any substance is probably bad. I've thrown, up, I've thrown up from eating too many edibles before. Like, there was oh, one, yeah. There was one night oh, yeah. I ate way too many edibles, and I ended up throwing up because I was just too high. But it, it, I, I felt better afterwards, so. Well, folks, the liberal agenda's at it again. Looks like the liberals that have been telling us to drink more water and less soda are now eating crow because some people died from drinking too much water. <laughs> <laughs> or their ultra compelling argument against global warming. It's snowing. It's wild Bill. Look, it's snowing here. Riding that baloney of the pony into the, the sunset. Stupid. And as America's leading liberalologist, I can now add yet another symptom of liberalism: the uncontrollable desire to engage in lifestyles that lead to sickness and early death. Cool. Other symptoms of liberalism. Most of you are well aware that because uh, you know. It doesn't look like there's no conservatives that like overeat or smoke oh, yeah, weed. Yeah, or let's, smoke com cigarettes. let's compare the uh, let's compare the red states to the blue states and uh, number of years lived on average. Yeah, everyone can have a little uh, Google foo fun with that one if they want. Yeah, liberal delusions of mental and intellectual superiority <coughs> yeah. and their uncontrollable appetite to dominate and control the lives of other people what? who are perfectly capable of running their own lives. Uh, <sighs> you're the one arguing against people having the right to smoke a fucking plant they want to. Even if it is a bad decision, it's their decision to make. So how can you yep. say liberals are the ones trying to control other people's fucking uh, lives? No, TJ, you talking up really hurts Wild Bill. Every, every time you smoke a joint, a little part of Wild Bill dies. Good. I need to smoke more joints. As America's leading liberalologist, I am working to cure liberalism in our lifetime. <laughs> and the rate at which these goofballs are killing themselves off and killing their unborn wait, wait, children. Wait, 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 wait. Liberal Shouldn't you be happy liberals are killing themselves off? Shouldn't you be encouraging them to smoke more weed and do the shit you say is bad? <laughs> yeah, you should be like, do crocodile yeah, bitches. You're saying, like, let's <laughs> kill off liberalism. And at the same time, yeah, I'm trying to expose them so they, they stop. It's like, no, shouldn't you just be happy they're not going to die off? Yeah, and, you, and you're just, you should be happy they're aborting their kids, too. Let's remember the fact that there are definitely 100% no Republicans getting high on the regular, dude. None. Oh, yeah. I've never even met a Republican or dude, someone who was Texas. conservative who smokes weed, you know? I'm in Texas, dude, and it was super hard to find weed here. Joking. Yeah. It was uh, easy. I know tons of conservative rednecks and a shit ton of them smoke weed, so whatever. It's bullshit that this is like a liberal thing. Liberalism just might cure itself. But you know, rather than seeing them die off, I'd rather they just... Listen and believe the gospel message. Turn away from their sinful lifestyles uh, get and get their lives reconciled to God, so that they can have hope and a decent future. Yeah, that's all a bunch of bullshit. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching. Yeah. And America, bless God again. As soon as this is over, he fucking huffs on a bag full of fucking yeah. paint thinner. <laughs> Goes on back page. It's legal. Goes on back page and and hires a lady of the evening. Yeah. Scotch visitor. guard. Huh. They're all like Scotch guard. He go he goes and buys like a six pack of whipped cream canisters and is huffing that shit. Just does whippets all night, dude, yeah. with a fucking hooker. <laughs> I see a, a a wild build fanfic in the work here. Cool. Yeah, dude. Wild Bill doing whippets all night with a male prostitute, dude. We should we can see if we can commission that from that one dude who writes. Oh the, shit! Books. There's the return. The return. Oh, yeah, dude, so Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy yeah, as father and son. son. All weed, all the time. 100% weed, man. 100% weed. Damn. 
And this is a uh, this is actually a triple threat mixture that I've got going on here. Oh, dude, Ben's fucking signature triple threat. Yep, some AC, Indica, DC. Indica, Sativa, <laughs> and fucking CBD, dude. Yep. Ooh, wow. Oh, God. There you go. Oh. <clears throat> okay. I need a fucking drink. Yeah, give me one, too. All want. right, this is called uh, Why We Are Normalizing Trans... Transgenderism. Why are we? Transgenderism, yeah. dude. Transgenderism. Hey guys. So today I want to talk about why so we this is need not to stop a, normalizing a transgender transgenderism here, right? and how it is a serious threat so. to women. Transgenderism is by definition I don't not care, honestly. normal. <laughs> huh? Your Paul, Paul's... tits are a serious threat to Paul's ego's pants. <laughs> yeah, dude. Can I see whether this is yeah, whether this go. is a possible trap, but Oh, you I'm like it, Paul? It. You're into I'm it? I'm fine with it. I'm fine. Paul's as long as the good. dick stays out of view and I don't have to manipulate the dick, I'm cool with it. Your dick would get ten times harder once you saw that big tranny cock, dude. <laughs> you know, uh, don't even lie. That's great. Based on current diagnostic criteria, around 0.006% of the population claim that they feel like they were born into the wrong body. This condition is- I've read numerous sources that have a, a much different number. <laughs> the number I usually see is 0.3%. So basically like one out of every 333 people. I don't know where you're getting this 0.006. I mean, there's more people who identify as that on Tumblr, for fuck's sake. Dude, dude, Ben's, Ben's about to have some of that cannabinoid overdose syndrome, dude. Look yeah. at him. <laughs> Ben's about to fucking puke his guts dude, out. Dude, if you're going to spew, spew into this, bro. And the dysphoria... <laughs> and is a horrible disorder to have. Before I continue, I want to stress that I do believe there are people with gender dysphoria who have felt like they're in their wrong body most of their lives, and that's okay. I don't have a problem with trans people, but I think it's very dangerous to promote transgenderism as normal and cool because it confuses people with gender euphoria and young cool. teenagers who are unsure gender about euphoria? their sexuality and identity. I think it's euphoria, dysphoria, dude. Yeah. I think it's dis. I, I, I don't <laughs> think they're gender euphoric euphoria. about their gender. Oh. Whoa, dude, I'm so fucking male right now. Dude, oh, man, shit. I'm, so, I'm so overtly <sighs> male. Oh, 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 wow, I can just feel the maleness. Fucking wow. <laughs> if we look at the statistics, the ratios of male to female young transgender people is one to one. However, when it comes to people in adulthood, the ratio is three to one. So this means that three times more adult men decide to undergo transition than women. Why is that? It seems to me that Probably most feminists assume it's only a pussy, dude. <coughs> yeah, they want to they want to know that feel, dude. People who suffer from gender dysphoria who transition from one gender to the other. If you're making transgenderism totally acceptable and cool, do you really think creepy men won't transition for female Um, if it was totally acceptable and cool, wouldn't you be making a video congratulating people on okay. doing it? Dude, if there's a dude out, if there's a dude <laughs> right. out there thirsty enough to have his cock and balls cut off to get a chick, then more power to him. Like, yeah. is that really an epidemic of what do you really think that guys, like, once they see that transgenderism is accepted, are going to go cut their cocks and balls off in mass to ingratiate themselves to women? Is that you what you're what, worried dude, about? You know what, dude? I'm tired of this whole male bullshit. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to chop my dick off and become a yeah. dyke, dude. Yeah, dude. Good job. Awesome. Good job, man. You don't actually have to, I mean, you know, they don't have to cut their dicks off. Plenty of trans uh, bitches don't do that shit, you know? Attention or so, to gain access to female facilities. They could facilities just be cross-dressers and be like, reasons. I'm transgender, People you know? People seem to not know the difference between gender so dysphoria and gender euphoria. <clears throat> Gender cool. euphoria so it's a is a term. state of positive emotion experienced when adopting the... Hey, teacher, remember when they said uh, we, had gay, we had gay marriage in a few years would be animals? <laughs> so, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, it's gonna happen. Remember the slippery slope of that? I wanna fuck you like an ant. Trent was just preparing us like he was using that uh, <laughs> Illuminati mind control. Because oh, literally, yeah. you will be fucking animals because they're gonna run out of. Uh, Paul, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. They're gonna ration pussy, Paul, and you're not gonna get any. You're gonna have to fucking no. animal, Paul. I always thought that could you're be taken. You're gonna fucking animal, Paul. I always thought that nope. could be taken two ways. Like, he could be talking about how he's like the animal, or he could talk like, you're the animal. 
You yeah, know? that's true. I, I think it, I always thought it was him that was the answer. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think the the intention was, but it could be taken both ways. That's true. I don't you think could, he's. I don't think he means he wants to get a stool way. and stand behind her and fuck her like a cow. You know what I mean? I don't maybe. think that's. But maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Who can say, Paul? <laughs> Who can really say? Do you know Trent's artistic vision, Paul? Yeah. You do not. <laughs> it's open know. to interpretation, Paul, and I choose that that interpretation. I fuck you like an animal. A zebra, maybe. He's preparing, Paul. He's pre look, Paul. If Trent Reznor came to Paul right now, and this it might even take this, put his hand on Paul's shoulder and goes, "Look, Paul, New World Order, man. Sorry, buddy. You ain't in. You ain't in this club. I am. You gotta fuck that animal over there. I'm <laughs> counting on you, Paul. Look, yeah. I'm counting on you. All right, now go on. The internet. We need entertainment." And then Paul's gonna have the choice. There's gonna be a fucking fiery pit. Yep. You or he has to fuck a pig Honestly, live on TV. You know what? I, it's time to announce this, guys. You know, we are going to New Mexico after all. Cool. Uh, Paul will personally be doing the donkey show. What? Um, <laughs> well, fuck you. This, the this, Paul's ego this was, donkey show. This was in your contract, Paul. No, no it wasn't. Yes, no, it was. I read Come that to the Albuquerque meetup. Yes. See Paul imbibe a yeah. donkey cock yeah. right down his fat because fucking Because you guys might know this, but in, in that county is is the only legal uh, yep. bestiality Bern, county Bernalillo in the Bernalillo County. <laughs> Bernalillo County, yes. New Mexico. Uh, uh, it is legal to do that. We, we're going to set up a, a little tent out back behind the venue. <laughs> And Come see that ass coming, Paul's <laughs> ass. Uh, uh, and 25, 25 bucks a peep. A <laughs> peep. You, get, you, get, you get ten minutes. All proceeds go to charity. It's gonna be peep yeah, shows style, called the drug like the the booze and hookers the for the drunken peasants in. charity. <laughs> Fuck this, dude. False advertising. I ain't blowing a donkey. What do you mean? What do you mean? Fuck this. Look, fuck you, right, Paul. Paul, gonna Paul, fuck you. Paul, look, I'm not, I'm, an, I'm a reasonable guy, <laughs> dude. If you can convincingly just straddle the donkey's dick with your legs, but make it look like it's fucking your ass, I'll let you do that. What about, okay. would, you, would you be willing to let Paul fuck the donkey instead? As no, I don't think that's nearly wanna, as exciting. I, I don't like think anyone, an animal, dude. I don't think anyone's going to care about that. No one wants to watch Paul fuck a donkey. People want to see a donkey Dude, fuck Paul. You're What's right, really you're gonna right, go sorry. on is we're gonna sell. It's twenty five a peep. That was true, but I'm gonna fuck TJ like an animal. And dude, there's also gonna be the, uh, the meetup. There'll be a <coughs> there'll be like a food truck out back selling like stuffed sopapillas and Ooh, stuff wonderful, like that. Wonderful. I Dude, I just want to feel him from the inside. I can't help it. <laughs> yeah. So Trent was preparing you, dude. He was preparing you. People are yep. saying people are trying to come up with like a segment around this person, like <laughs> Oh, this person? Trans or not trans. Of what appearance bro, of the old I don't think, not a bro. I don't think she's trans. Neither do I. I don't see an Adam's Huge apple. Cock. Huge cock. She has a very feminine voice. <clears throat> I said okay. Huge five, cock. Gender. This in contrast to gender dysphoria, which is experiencing <clears throat> negative feelings about one's biological gender. Cool. Gender euphoria and dysphoria do not always go hand in hand. For example, a man may be comfortable living as a male and identifying as a male, but may also experience a rush of excitement when- I just keep hoping she didn't tighten that little <clears throat> thing on the camera that's keeping it stable at that level. And it's just oh, gonna start coasting you're, you're wondering, and you're, shit. You're wondering what, what the boobs look like because like there's yeah, a compelling like, preview already. Like Yeah, you know, you see that top <laughs> part and you just wanna see how it rounds out at the bottom, you know? I just wanna know the full shape of those tits. <laughs> God, TJ, you're just such a fucking misogynist. Go to her <laughs> channel and look at her other videos, maybe you'll get a glimpse. What, what is her channel called? I don't know, I didn't All pay right, attention. Fine. I'm sure someone Darn. will find it. Someone Press send me that up I guess. as a woman or engaging in female activities. This obviously does not make him a woman and therefore is unrelated to the issue of transgenderism. Uh -huh. However, if we allow gender euphoria to be a diagnostic criteria for transgenderism, we <clears throat> risk confusing those who otherwise have no issues with their biological sex. Feminists, you need- I mean, like, I don't know, like, the world's already pretty confused. Like, I, you can't just say, we can't do this because people will be confused. There's like this pop, uh, like, pop Old science. people are confused when you change the ordering systems at rest restaurants and shit doesn't mean we shouldn't do it 
There's like this is like pop uh, science kind of like thing that just goes around where it's like there's certain things that people believe can just be through whatever media or entertainment can just be implanted. Like, and transgenderism is one of the newest ones where it's like now because they have their, uh, transgender people are more visible in entertainment and other aspects of American life. Now it's like it's being foisted upon us. Now everyone has to become a trans. It's like it's being promoted. They act I like mean, this is yeah. new. <clears throat> like it's something that just came out of the millennial generation. Yeah, it's not. And it's been around for fucking ever. They're documented. <laughs> cases of it going all the way back to like the beginnings of recorded history it's just like the same and they thing think, with the gay thing though it's like they think they're, well, yeah, they they think think they're, they're being recruited into it fucking, or something they think they're going to change people's desires and biology <sighs> by waving the finger in the air and going no 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 this is dangerous people have been saying that since the beginning and they're still faggots and they're still trans people <sighs> yeah I mean, and, and like, it's not like they're they're not. They're yeah, not like so, a recruiting, somehow accepting these things. It's not about a reality organization for this shit. Yeah, it's like you accept the reality that there's some people that just feel this way, and that's really it. <clears throat> but it's just like, no, we can't accept it. It's, it's being forced upon us. And it's like, no, people are just accepting it now, and instead of pretending it doesn't exist, I mean, or it's evil. There's a pretty goddamn limited set of circumstances where any normal dude would be like, you know what? I think it's time for me to cut my dick off and become a woman. Like these very few. Uh, of all the guys just, I've known in my, uh, to in feel my life. special is not yeah. like, going to be on that list. I've never heard of any yeah. one of them doing that for that reason. Just like, I want to be special. I want this attention. Let's see. Do, do. So her, uh, <laughs> her fucking Hello and welcome. about page doesn't say anything about her. Okay. Here's her transgenderism, dear white. I don't know. How about that Hillary Clinton? That, that looks like it might be. <laughs> Teachers like let's she, see. She, oh, I really need to... Damn it! Left until the Still cuts off. <laughs> Good advertising for her. She's like, oh, oh, she's pretty over and over. Are oppressed because of their biology. I personally don't believe women in the West are still oppressed, but they are in other countries and have been in the past because okay. of them being child bearers. Only female human beings can get pregnant and give birth, and all human beings come from female bodies. Females are also smaller and weaker compared to males, which makes them easier to control. Therefore, female biology is central to women's oppression. Trans women are not females. They are not women. Tran Sounds like you could use some on your side, though, you know? Like you just said, like, women are weak. That's why they're easier to control. Get some, tran get some trannies on your side. They can yeah. be your muscle, you know? Get some big, tough trannies to follow you around, <laughs> dude. Yeah, you know, convince fucking Brock Lesnar that he's a trans uh, uh, oh. he's a trans chick and, you know, just slap a wig on her and be like, this is Brockino Lesnar. Yeah, yeah. Oh, our, our bodyguard. Bill Goldberg, <laughs> you're going down, okay? Honestly. Honestly. <laughs> Bill Goldberg, you're going down. <laughs> Uh, his macho voice. <laughs> you yeah. love it. Dude, I'm so excited now that we're talking about it. Oh, yeah, that's true. The Undertaker. Yeah. Like, the Royal fucking Rumble, dude. Undertaker. Who's he fighting? He's, he's in, the in, the Rumble. in the Rumble, dude. Oh, he's in the Rumble. Oh, you think he's going to yeah. win it again? Uh, I don't know. I'm, yep. I'm hoping. Yep. I'm hoping so. Taker's, unlikely. Taker's oh, in it to whatever, win it. Ben. Taker's in it to win. You it, don't know. I think it's unlikely that Cena and the Undertaker will win. I think they will face each other, but I don't think they're going to. Well, win Cena's these. not in the Rumble. Oh, but you mean, oh, well, he's mean under, he's right? AJ you mean the title match? match. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, I got you. So, you, so, you, so you're predicting Cena's going to lose? I'm predicting that Cena and I mean, obviously, it's way more likely that Undertaker will lose because of all the different. Yeah. People. Oh, yeah. If Undertaker gets eliminated, <clears throat> no shock. If Cena yeah. loses, I actually think that Cena is going to win. I'm pretty confident. I think there's a chance, but I'm <clears throat> thinking Cena won't put himself in the title picture, um, so that he'll have a more flexible schedule for movies and things like that. And I think mm -hmm. that. Uh, You'll see a lot of talk building up between now and WrestleMania between him and Undertaker. I don't think you'll see a lot of action out of him. I think he, I think he's wrestling. I think he's got movie shit. He's got lined up and uh, spokesperson type shit. <laughs> wrestling is fake, dumbass. No, it's not. Oh, uh, that's why we're talking about the reasons it's, why these things it, might happen. It's real. <laughs> it's wrestling's real. real, guys. It's real. I don't know what you're talking. It's real about. fucking fake. <laughs> when I saw the Undertaker, I cummed. 
I come. Me so too. I'm excited Dude. like to see The Undertaker and Shawn Michaels. Those are like two of the best ever. Hell yeah. But Shawn Michaels won't be wrestling, obviously. Yeah. I wish he would. Yep. And then Ric Flair deadlifting 400 pounds. He should be wrestling still. Put that old motherfucker in there. They should just have yeah. an old fuck yeah. division, man. <laughs> yeah, have the fucking Masters division. They just have like all the old dudes wrestle, and it's kind of slow and sad, but you still enjoy it, you know? I couldn't deadlift 400 pounds now. <laughs> yeah, me either. I don't so. Think so. so when I'm like 70 years old, <laughs> I, I couldn't even imagine. Rick Fair still fucking got it, dude. I'll be lucky. He still I, fucking got it. I'll be lucky if I'm alive at 70, but I'll also be lucky if I can even deadlift the fucking remote control for the TV <laughs> at that point. If indeed that's still what we're using. Can you even 70. do one push up, TJ? Uh, no. Really? Paul, what about you? Um, I used to be able to. Do, I haven't tried in a long time. I used to be able to do one or two push ups. Um, and I've been this size for a while, so I don't know, <clears> maybe <throat> one. You guys need to take push-up lessons from Howard Bloom. Yeah, he can do a thousand push-ups in a, in a fucking a thousand? single set. I think we're like 15 million. <laughs> yeah. 15 million is easy. Howard Bloom just wakes up and does push-ups <laughs> and then goes back to sleep. That's all he does. If we ever have him back on, we have to have him like explain how that happens. Because, I mean, like that to me is like, come on, I think dude. I figured out one time that like he, he'd have to be doing push-ups for like an hour and a half to do as many as he said, even if it was like as fast as could be. Yeah, dude, 1,500 push-ups would take a while, even if it was, like, one second for each one up and down, which let's say it's, like, probably more like two or three yeah, seconds. Yeah, I mean, if you could, yeah, yeah, one, even if you're doing them super fast, if it was just one second for each push-up, but which, by the way, you'd slow down eventually, you know? Yeah, like, of course. Uh, yeah, like, I, that's still 1,500 seconds. That's so long. That's such a long time. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't buy it. Maybe you can do a couple hundred or something. I, I could believe that. They, uh, you know, and maybe mm. in like one, one session, maybe you could do a couple. hundred. You know, we've been talking about a, uh, you know, maybe we, we should have a female peasant. I'm thinking, you know, since being transgender is just no big deal. Like maybe one of us could just get a sex change and become the female peasant. All right, TJ, I nominate you. No, I, I think I, I don't think I'd be uh, very attractive. We need, let we me need guess, someone more let me guess, attractive. Let me guess. Hmm. Let me guess. Huh. Let me guess. Fuck who, you, man. Who? Yeah. Who, who would Dude, you say? Ben, you are the most attractive peasant by a wide margin. Oh, by, by the way, um, yeah. So that's twenty-five minutes of, of push-ups. Yeah. So Howard Bloom is continuously doing push-ups every second for twenty-five minutes. No way. No way. I, 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 you know, I like having a penis too much. And I don't, I don't have well, the Scotty, desire Scotty. to have breasts. Scotty, I think like, you're the runner up there. Like the fat guys can't do it because we don't. We would yeah. make well, you transsexual. guys already have tits. That's you true. Man we tits, do Paul. already have. Tits. I'm nominating. For, I'm okay. You know what? I'm gonna throw it out there, uh, Paul. What you gonna give me? What am what I gonna, gonna give get, you? To not vote your way because one oh. of us has to do it. Nine billion dollars, dude. Nine billion, TJ. What, what are you gonna give me? <clears throat> um, ten billion. Sorry, Paul. It's Paul, dude. Nine, Paul. Nine, billion and a, nine billion and a hand job behind the Albuquerque meetup. Oh, shit. Well, I don't want a hand job for you, yeah. so Paul wins. Darn. Ah, gotcha, bitch. What if so, I hired this chick to give you a hand job? I already made the deal. Sorry. Fuck. Yeah, well, yeah, not only that, but he's got nine billion dollars. He could pay yeah. this chick to do whatever he wants. Exactly, Why does he need dude. You to it's do my it? puppet now. She's my fucking puppet now. Well, I mean, yeah, all right. What Fair a misogynist. Enough. Fair enough, I guess. What can you really do? Uh, it's probably Grab one more video. Pussy, Scotty. No, I actually have my handlers going to do that to make sure it's actually worth about, my time. Uh, uh, either that or the the racist KFC ad in Australia. Oh, yeah, 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 that one. <laughs> this is old, but... Yeah, we Since decided <laughs> to do a little Young Turks to give you guys a preview Since of the we're, movie. So the next Since we're planning on doing an all Young Turks episode for sale as our next special episode... We're yeah. gonna we're gonna see how we actually do looking at the Young Turks. This is an older clip. I think it's about seven years old, so it's not like a current event or anything. But uh, I'm sure there's some dumb shit in here, so let's take a look. Story uh, has to do with a racist Australian KFC ad. Let's do it. There's a lot of controversy surrounding it because a lot of people believe that it is racist. Mm. So okay. I want you to share your thoughts. Hey Jr., you know, like we were just wondering if like this thing was racist because like, we all got together and said, yeah, it was racist. But we thought like maybe since you're the black guy, like maybe you could tell if it's a, if it's racist or not. Well, then let's understand how it works. Every uh, person of color has a stamp, and if white people decide on it, it's like, mm, 
uh, uh, we just don't know. We need uh, we need, we're gonna need a person of color to come uh, give the seal of approval. The Young Turks do that shit all the time. So I mean, he's that, here to give his seal of approval. Is that Anna Kasparian? It sounds like her. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's her. I Why does she it's... look so different? Uh, pre nose job, and I believe she has yeah, braces. Oh, she had a nose here. job. Yeah, she did. She must have. Jesus, yeah, she, she has she braces here I mean, too. And this is like an old ass set that yeah, does this not even like, exist anymore. This is several years ago. I mean, this isn't even uh, HD about or anything. So after we watch it, so let's go to the video. The video. Okay, let's watch. Oh yeah, this is really old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tip, when you're stuck in an awkward situation. <laughs> Too easy. KFC's crowd pleaser. A huge variety of delicious chicken and plenty of tasty sides. <laughs> this is an awesome Boy, commercial. If you this find Australia? yourself this surrounded by niggers, just bring a bucket of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and then they love you. Calms them right down. <laughs> Real tense. Were, were those aboriginals? I don't know. Chill out, Harambe. Have a two-piece in a biscuit. <laughs> Look, I, 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 let me just say what my immediate reaction is. It's so racist. Rich. Wow, it's yeah. Just... The white woman should speak before the let, black okay, man. Okay, let, let me wow. tell you what I think, and then you can like, let me know if you agree, because, like, you know, you're black. Man. Let me tell you my white opinion, and then you give me the, the uh, person of color stamp yeah, of well, approval. It's not black men. It's POC, person P of He's color. a POC, Ben. Get it fucking Rich. right, no you insensitive prick. Tell, um, tell me what you think. Yeah, it's funny how you're allowed to say people of color, but if you reverse it and make it colored people... Whoa, whoa, said. Ben! The views of Ben do not represent yes, the Drug and Pestis podcast. We are ashamed of Ben's statements. I want, Shocked. I want to apologize to the audience Shocked for what you appalled. may have heard. Disgusted, revolted. I don't say either one of them. Yes, you, do. you just did. Yeah. Uh, I'll say POC sometimes, but mostly just because that's like the term that they bring up in a conversation. See, to me, I used to work in an office and it was point of contact was POC. Cool. So when I hear POC, that's what I think of. I'll say non-white, too. Non it's just like a, a thing to fucking describe, like, all races that aren't white people, no, least, which is basically what POC means. Absolutely. A stereotypical thing. So the, the, people understand non-white, too. Well, because when I'm thinking racist, I'm thinking that, that, that they're trying to make, this, make the, the, I guess, the, the target look bad or look worse than they actually are. But, uh -huh. Which it does. <laughs> it does. It does because, I mean, uh -huh. yeah, but, you know what? It, how does it really They do were that? just no, hanging no, out. No, no, it does. Dude, if it, I was it, chilling... It reveals them to be people that like KFC. Yeah, like, that's true. The, You're right. <laughs> that, well, what? Like, what's the implication here? If he was in a crowd full of, like, mostly white people and held up a bucket of chicken, they nobody would take a piece? And why is it everybody, why everybody is it bad chicken. to like chicken? Why is it bad to like? Yeah, that's chicken? not even a negative stereotype. Like, who the fuck doesn't eat fried chicken? Who gives a shit? Vegans, vegans, CJ, vegetarians. Honestly, when I go to KFC around here, I mostly see Asians in it. Like, so what? what who gives a shit? People like fried chicken. People of all races like fried chicken. It tastes fucking good. Who gives a shit? Even if, even if this is, ad is racist and you're offended by it, then just don't eat a KFC. I mean, like, I, I really don't get this when people go, oh, I'm so offended by this. Like, you have to go out of your way to be offended. It's really nothing. I mean, if they, if, if it was like, yeah, them as slaves whipping them and like, eat well, the chicken. Let me ask you a question. I can maybe if, understand if they that. Made a, but... If they made a fucking commercial where me and Paul were acting crazy and some dude was hanging out with us like, oh, these guys are annoying. And he's like, yeah, I know. I'll give them fried chicken. That'll shut them the fuck up. And then we just kind of re regress and like, oh, I'm eating chicken, so I'm fine. Finally, shutting my fucking mouth. Would anyone have trouble understanding that commercial or its message? Scotty refused to eat KFC in Amsterdam. So who gives a shit? Damn right I did. Yeah, we we got there and Scotty's like, nope. A everyone was about to walk in. Scotty's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, he made us go to the Burger King that had rats in. It. That's awesome though, dude. There Piece was fucking shit. rats in that place. Yeah, that's so awesome. Yeah, none of us got sick. I was fine, dude. That was that was a fine one. Yeah. And that crazy guy was there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the dude thought I, uh, I jokingly act like I was going to punch him, and he, like, freaked out. I was like, I'm just kidding, dude. Calm down. Yeah, you know, they're crazy. Yeah, the guy was insane. Racist TJ. Damn right. So we're going to be doing a whole episode of Young Turks stuff. Now, this is obviously a really old one, but we'll be looking at uh, stuff from all over the Young Turks timeline. Yeah, there's a lot of it. New stuff, old stuff, whatever. We're gonna be looking at it all. We're gonna fucking look yeah, at the, if you guys have the a clip, rise and fall of the young <coughs> If you guys have uh, favorite clips or th ones you think are especially egregious or bad, obviously just send that to our Facebook. Doesn't matter if they're old. Doesn't matter if they're new. Yeah. Send them on our way. We're not just we're, we're discriminating based on what we think we can get out of it. Yeah, not. any of the ones that you think are totally ridiculous, you know, because they have a lot of content. So that's a lot of shit to look at. 
I mean, this is a good example right here. It's an old oh, one. Also, but... are we limiting ourselves to the main show or just anything that's like a direct? I would say of... we're just looking at the main show. Yeah, okay. Anna Jank. Um, yeah, we want so we want the fucking big the, the main big panels to fucking okay. yeah. you know look at and dissect. Well, there you go. The amazing racist. Well, you are das racist. racist. Das racist. So, are we doing a post show? Fellas, nope, nope. If you enjoyed this okay. shit, give it a thumbs up. Let us know what you thought in the comment section. We'll start doing the post bullshit. show soon. Once Paul gets back, we'll we'll start okay. doing it. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and Paul will be here very very soon. The young 16th. Kirks, dude. The sixteenth. Yeah, so not that young anymore. Oh yeah, and, and on the sixteenth, we should announce that now. There's not going to be a show then because Paul is coming in. It's going to be the following day. Yeah, and also I'll be getting my corrective eyes. Exactly, and TJ's getting LASIK. The Drunken Peasants, oh. two two seven Bellevue Way Northeast, number eighty Bellevue Washington nine eight zero zero four is where you can send us packages that we open on the air. Take a look at, you know, send us letters, send us candy, send us whatever you want. One week from today, uh, we're going to have Shoe on Head on the show. And then Friday, the following Friday, we're going to have Copper Cab on the show. Oh, <laughs> shit. So things are going to get interesting. Those are two very different guests. Yeah. Are they, <laughs> are they really? To say yeah. the least. Yeah. Uh, very little in common between those two. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching.